Something has gone wrong. We have been told the event is canceled. 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 will not let our fans down. It's not happening. No matter what, anyone who traveled to Allentown, Pennsylvania, anyone planning on being in Pennsylvania tomorrow, I will be available to do a signing with you. I will be available to hang out and talk with y'all. I'm gonna make this happen. We are back on Allentown. And here's the amazing thing. It's myself and Kane Hodder. Let's be honest. It's Kane Hodder and me. I'm 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 like I'm like the JVs to, to his James Brown. Uh hi, it's uh, Kane Hodder. You're listening to Death Curse Society. Keep listening. Or don't fucking listen. I don't care. Welcome back to another Death Curse Society and Monday Maniacs, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Red Crank. I got Zigzag with us and... The Colonel is on assignment. One last time. One last yeah. week. I think so. I think he's Legend. back next week, folks. So Legend. that's good. The return of the Colonel. That's I don't want to... Right. I don't want to waste too much time with our getting to know you stuff. We may save right. that for the end because I, I do have to talk to Ziggy about a few things. And I have a surprise for Ziggy. I have a surprise for you guys oh for an episode coming up soon. They don't even know it's happened yet, but it's happened, and I got a surprise for you. But before we uh, bring in our guest and get to the topic at hand, because I know you guys are ready, let me thank our members, our final girls, Chris, Lorena, Christy, Luke, Charles, Ty Tanya, and Tyrone, and our crazy Ralph Raymond and our camp counselors, uh, Michigan Dave, S. Michael, Stacy Lynn, Orlando, Kiara, Canada Dave, and JJ. Not Jimmy J to be confused with the right. asshole we're about to talk about. But, yeah, you know, oh, man, yeah, that guy nice. that we're about to talk nice. about. Yeah. That's, that's right. That guy, yeah. So, thanks to our members. All right. And also, um, I, I want to say something real quick before we get into it. I haven't even looked at the comments yet, but we are going to try to... I, I slipped already, but... We are going to try to keep this civil uh, as much as we can. And I want you guys in the comments as well to right. stay civil with each other. We, we are expect, a horror family. We do expect a few folks from the other camp to show up and maybe try to disrupt the comments. It's all right, man. If you got say something intelligent, we'll share. We're yeah. not like that. So, I mean, yeah. I'll be honest, man. This isn't the type of show I'm really into doing, you know, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do to maintain integrity uh, with the whole thing. So that's right. why we're here, man. And uh, we'll, we'll get to the bottom of it the best we can. Right. So without any further ado, we're going to be talking about what actually happened at the proposed Jason Takes PA. I even printed out my questions tonight uh, and my timeline. I'm so ready for this. Um, 
This event did not happen on December 10th of 2022, like it was uh, scheduled to. It was canceled the day before, and a lot of us found out on Facebook Live. And then the man himself, along with his partner, Kane Hodder, uh, decided to do something on his own for the fans to get it put together and was able to treat some of the people that went out of their way to a signing and to a meet and greet. And let's bring him in right now, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, Hollywood director, Mr. Adam, you're goddamn right he's a deadite, Marcus. <laughs> All right. Welcome, Adam. By the way, that's, that is the best intro I've ever been given. So thank you for that. That is awesome. Uh, I also love the Manic Monday opening. That's amazing, guys. Oh, yes, yes. We yeah. found a, uh, a punk rock band from Europe that did a cover of that. Yeah. And I reached out to him and said, Fantastic. can we please use this for the... Uh... Fantastic. Yeah, it's it was terrific. great. Yeah, it's terrific. Um, can, I, can I say, before we get started on any of this, look, yes. um, just, just because I... I uh, look, <laughs> um, you know, I made Jason Goes to Hell, so I am made of Teflon. <laughs> so, so it, you know, if somebody wants to jump on me, uh, okay, cool. Um, listen, I am not going to denigrate anybody. I'm not going to say anything that didn't happen. I'm not going to um, cast aspersions on anybody. Um, I have no interest in that. And it's why when you guys first came to me about this, it was right after the event. Like, do you want to talk about it? And Oh, I was on you that day. Right. And I, I was like, <laughs> not yet, guys. Like, there, there's there's research that needs to be done to know exactly what happened here. Right. And over the last few months, that research has gone on. And I've spoken to a ton of people um, who who uh, who all have the same story. That's that's the amazing thing. It's it's not like you get a lot of different stories. Um, right. I, I've also spoken to people who were, you know, deep in the jimmy j productions camp mm -hmm. um who and and by the way i'm not talking about his old partner okay because i know there's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna jump all over um you know uh uh south jersey jason like i know that that's gonna be a thing right i'm mm -hmm. not that's not one of the people that i'm gonna talk about in this at all at all um this is coming from um sources that are besmirched that either didn't get paid or didn't get paid back. Um, right. And, and by the way, um, Jimmy has never once reached out to me and we'll get to that because I reached out to him directly. Hmm. And so he never responded. I left him a message um, after he went live on Facebook telling me to come at him, bro. Um, I mean, it was like, I was like, what are we, what are we doing now? Are we back in middle school? Right. And, and, uh, th this whole timeline is like fraught with such juvenile behavior. And honestly, Kane and I immediately, we got together and we immediately like, we're going to rise above the fray and we're going to, we're going to take care of the people who are here, which by the way, Jimmy J could have been involved in, he right. could have been included. Right. He chose not to include himself. So, you know, there's 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 a lot of Pete. Look, and I understand Jimmy's got friends and I'm not saying anything negative about. About anything that I don't know about. I'm not going to just I'm talking about your experience. That's right. it. That's yeah. it. Well, yes, there, he's been out there. He's made some comments. He's he been sure out public with it. And everyone said well what about adam what he's got to say so we we did we have some of these things and you'll be able to answer them directly yeah and i'll be honest our whole involvement in this we're not trying to sensationalize any of this oh we're in the goddamn same pond we're in the same water and these guys come along you're pissing in the fucking pool by the way by the way you guys are producers on the documentary about jason goes hell on hearts of darkness damn skip right. wait but by the way that movie was affected by what jimmy did Yes, because you and were going to film a finale there. Not just that. We spent tons of money. Right. And never got paid back. Yeah. We're definitely going to get into that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, um, and I, that's what I mean. But, I mean, that's the point yeah. is, is, is we, we, we're all the same. We're all in the same community Absolutely. here. And that's what we don't want to see, this. Someone coming in and taking advantage of the coolest 
audience in any kind of field. Music, Absolutely. Across right. the board. And we've seen it. We've been across the fucking country now. And we've seen it. It's everywhere. Yeah. It's everywhere. And by the way, and by the way, can I can I say right up front? And it's the it's the very first thing that's going to come out of my mouth, and it's probably going to be the last thing came out of my comes out of my mouth. I don't think Jimmy went into this bad intentioned. I I agree. No, but, but being didn't. over your head, you know, you're over your head long before it, yes. it's to get crit, critical mass. Well, like and when you find out how early he was over his head, which I didn't know about until I started talking to people who were the bookkeepers in his camp. It's so early. And then there's other shenanigans and other people that were thrown mm -hmm. under the bus that supposedly, I mean, this guy accused someone very close to him of grand larceny. Yeah. Yeah. This is, yeah. you know, it's, it's serious stuff, man. And I got to tell you something. You know, there's been talk of trying to do a class action lawsuit. There's been a lot of stuff that I've like, been recommending that to a lot I'm of people. Like, I'm like, Jimmy, listen, man, you'd, you'd best come clean and take care of people. And I'm not even asking to be taken care of right. at all. I'm asking for the fans to be taken care of, you know, guys like Rick Paulton, who, you know, him and his autistic son, you know, came up for the event, man. And like they saved for that and, and they they, and they donated their gas money back to the event yes. on top of the tickets that they'd yes. already paid for I mean, what is what are we doing I, right. like i'm sorry this is about the fans right um so so anyway i, I, right. I know I'm, i know i'm getting ahead of myself but I, I just, <laughs> all right but i wanted i wanted to know i wanted i wanted the people who are you know who are going to naturally hate me uh, there's going right. to be a few uh, right and we're in that camp now too, you know. Absolutely, well, yeah. um, <laughs> I would expect it. The more you know me, um, the the I look. I want those people to know that I am not trying to um, do damage to anybody. That's not the case. It's no. not the case. I have no interest in that. We're just laying out the we don't story. Want it to happen. No more. Can't happen yeah. again. That's right. right. And make sure that people know. Be careful who yes. they're doing yes. business with. Yes. So. Uh, speaking of, Jimmy did uh, have something to say when we first launched the video uh, uh, announcing your coming on the show. Before you uh, oh, there you go. I, I wanted to add this up here because he okay. said, uh, uh, Jimmy J says, I'm honored and flattered you guys are investing this much time on me. It seems like everyone is just trying to stay relevant. Can't wait to see the show. So, Jimmy, Great. welcome to the show if you're watching. Great. Uh, Rick says, May maybe they're just looking out for the people you still owe. I'm certain they would let you on to tell your side if if we if why we aren't getting our money back. Mm. And uh, J Jimmy J goes on to say people have been paid back. Not everyone yet. I'm one man cleaning up a disaster. I'm still in communication with people. I'm not running or hiding. The situation is getting handled and will. Yeah, of course yep. it's blocked out. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. you see what I'm you see what I'm dealing with. There, you, know, you know. And the thing way, is. Wait. That, but that's the most that's the most reasonable response I've seen from the guy thus far because everybody right. sends everybody sends me everything. Right. I've been getting a lot of uh, stuff too over the <laughs> last few weeks uh, since, especially since <laughs> yeah. we locked this down. I've talked to a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, it's sad, but man. Let's first off, let's start at the beginning because this event was announced in the summer of 2022. Uh, but it only had Kane attached as the talent. Yes. Um, how and when did you get involved? Well, and... by the way, you also have to go back further because this event actually took w was started way before that. Right. There was a, a Jason Takes Bethlehem event. Wait, there but was there was a Kane Hotter event that this guy had been planning years in advance and mm -hmm. COVID fucked it all up, which right. look, there's, you know, that's not his fault. I totally, look, <laughs> the documentary was ready to be done nine months after we, we finished our fund. Right. And that was that, like COVID happened. And by the way, for anybody out there who, who I, I, I had one gentleman come at me say, you know, you're talking about Jimmy J screwing people. Where's our documentary? You know, <laughs> how many years is it going to take? And wait, and, and I immediately responded. I said, hey, listen, totally hear you. When you're dealing with human beings and coming into their homes to shoot footage of them. Right. Um, and in California, we 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 had a really long COVID. We're, we're, we're not like some of the places in the country where they had a shorter time. If you were in Florida, you could be out three days later. And, and, exactly. And to I was going to mention Florida. COVID. 
Um, so, which is which is great. Um, people here did not want to meet with anyone, no, no one. And it didn't matter if you brought masks. It didn't. I spent time negotiating for three years to get people in front of cameras. So, in order to make the documentary what it's supposed to be, um, that's what happens. So, again, right. by the way, I understand how stuff can happen beyond your control and you're in trouble and you have to push things back. If sure. Jimmy had simply said, hey guys, you know what? Here's the thing. If two months before this event happened, he said, hey, we're having some problems. Can we do the event in the summer? Okay. Now, by the way, he might've lost Kane. He might've, yeah. I don't know. I don't know that. Okay. Well, I think he would already bumped him. He'd already bumped him once. Okay. Because of COVID, which I right. think Kane was fine with and understood. I think but, he got bumped twice, actually, but yeah, I think it was a New right. York show. Right. I think you're right. So here's the thing. If you if you if you just be straight with people and say, listen, I'm having this problem. Great. And by the way, he did talk about problems, which I'll get into as we go further down the timeline. Mm -hmm. But there was an event that people paid money for, and he kept that money in his account. This is where things get really sticky really early. Right. Hmm. And later on, when you guys have Jason Counterman on, he's going to let everybody know what what went down um, okay. financially there. Okay. Um, so, yes, how did I get involved? Here's well, how I Yeah, because Jimmy J has stated at some point yeah. uh, that you kind of inserted yourself into this event. Okay, by the way, Jimmy J has, a, has an hour and a half podcast with me and his partner on his channel. Okay, mm -hmm. you can go watch it. This guy was kissing my ass in Macy's window. <laughs> it's not true. Here's what happened. Okay, Stacy Lee is my man is my road manager. Right. Okay, Stacy and Chris from C C and V Productions, who are amazing, and I adore them. Um, Stacy is the one who went to him and said, "Hey, if you're doing a Jason Goes to Hell event, I I now rep the 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 guy, right?" So he was thrilled to have me there, thrilled. And I was like, great, I'm thrilled to show up. That would be really fun. It wasn't until later that I said, I, we, had, we had let go of our parted ways with our director on the documentary. Mm -hmm. And I had hired a new director, Michael Felsher, who is amazing. And Michael said to me, he said, Adam, any way that I can get there with my camera, bring in some guys to shoot, and we can shoot this event and use it as the ending since it's the beginning of the 30th anniversary, we can use this to wrap out the film. And I was like, Michael, that's brilliant, let's do it. So I immediately called Stacy. Stacy got to Jimmy. Jimmy was over the moon, <laughs> over the moon that he was gonna be on camera, he's gonna be a star. We know Jimmy has no problem being on camera. He loves the camera. Right. And I was, by the way, and I was thrilled to have him. He's a good showman. I was like, this is great. Like, this guy's got a great energy. It'll be really fun. I can mix it up with the guy. So then he's so excited, he invites me on his podcast. Yeah. So this is the guy who I inserted myself into, into an event. That's just not, that's, that is a flat out lie. It's a lie. All so, right. See, I have with for these types of things that are falling out, I have a couple of things ready for this. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, when it, when appropriate, we'll add those. Look, again, I'm not I'm not going to say I'm not going to it, it it would be akin to me saying, you know, Jimmy, I heard Jimmy was sitting in a room rubbing his hands together going, mm, "Money, money, money. I'm going to screw everybody." <laughs> It's, a, it's the same idea. It's like, no, he wasn't. He We've wasn't never said that. that. Nope. Right. And the whole point is when he says stuff like I inserted myself into his event. Are you insane? Second, second, when he says things like Kane and I got stolen by another promoter for another event. Right. How dare you? I mean, how <laughs> dare you? Shame on you, sir. Right. So. Here's what happens. 
I go on his event, I go on his podcast, we have a great time, right? It's really fun. He te- After the podcast tells me, you're the best guest I ever had, this was amazing, we wanna have you back on after you. I said, dude, absolutely, this is great. We have a great give and take, I love it, all good. And his partner in the podcast is amazing, like love that dude. So all of that was terrific, great. A couple weeks go by and I get a call from my manager, from Stacy, and she mm-hmm. says, Adam, it looks like Jimmy's gonna have to pull the plug on the event. And I went, wait a minute, what? <laughs> what? Now, by the way, in this meantime, I have hired people. I have I have bought new equipment for that event specifically. Mm-hmm. I've gotten hotel rooms in 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 Allentown and rented cars for everybody. I've taken care of everyone. Okay. So all of that money is being spent from my budget on this film. Right. Right? So that was now, crowdfunded. Right. So now it's my fans and the people that I love who have given money to our film. Now they're getting screwed by proxy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, so Stacy said, I said, what, what's the problem? What is happening? And she says, he doesn't have enough money. The, the venue this is what she tells me. Cause he said this, the venue, he had a contract with them. Mm-hmm. The contract was never finalized and they had a budget estimate. Okay, this is what he says. He tells us that the budget was $9,000. And when he went back to them, they told him it was 18. Yep. They doubled the budget on it. Now, hang on. I've heard the same. And I have found out that this was a lie. I have too, because okay. I called the venue. Right. <laughs> by the way, by the way, Jason Counterman works with that venue and knows the people who run it. All right. So, so now, so now, Jimmy, I, I say to Stacy, I say, Stacy, get Jimmy on the phone. Just get Jimmy on the phone. So she gets Jimmy on the phone. And I'm like, okay, Jimmy, Jimmy starts to do his routine. And I said, stop, Jimmy, stop. I'm not interested in the show. <laughs> I said, tell me what's going on. Tell me the nuts and bolts. He says, I don't have enough money for the venue and to pay Kane Hodder. His guarantee. So right. Kane had a guarantee. I'm never going to say the number because that's not, I nope. will never do that. Right. Kane has a guarantee. He has to be paid. And I said, okay. I said, well, look, I said, you're, you're selling autographs for me and you're selling autographs for Kane online through that same Eventbrite link. I said, so instead of, I said, look, I will donate my earnings to the event to get it going and then you can pay me back after the event. Cause he's like, look, once the event happens, I'll have the money to pay everybody, but I mm-hmm. don't have it up front. I said, I am, I am happy to do that. I said, and I will tell you something. I'll bet you Kane would be okay with that too. I said, Kane is already on his way to the East coast. Cause he was going a week early. Right. Other things he had to do in New York. So I said, Kane's on his way. I said, he said, I've already talked to his manager. This whole thing is going to blow up. I said, it's not going to blow up. I said, look, I said, Jimmy, what do you need to put the event on? What do you need? Tell me the dollar number you need. He says $5,000. I said, okay, I'll give you the five grand. I will take it out of my pocket. It's not coming out of the budget of the movie. It's not coming out of the dock. I will give you the five grand because I need to guarantee that that money I've spent for the dock is going to be used for the dock. Right. So I'm taking this out of my own pocket. I said, but you will do this right now. You will, you will say it in front of my management. You will pay me by December 30th, all $5,000 back. That way it goes, it goes against, it goes on your tax form and it comes off mine. So it's okay. not a debt. I said, so by this, I said, look, I'm not even expecting it the day the event happens or the day after the event happens. I know how this works. Mm-hmm. I said, you've got to get money back from those people. It's going to take probably two weeks. So we're at December 10th. By December 24th, that money should be in your bank account. I'm going to allow you six days of grace. You get me the five grand by December 30th. We're cool. Right. And he was like, Adam, I can't believe you would do this for me. I can't believe how cool you are, man. This is a mate. Like on and on and on. And I said, no problem. I said, but Jimmy, listen to me. I'm not paying you directly. I said, you get me on the phone with the venue. I'll pay the venue. Yes. Yeah. I said, I'm not handing anybody money. 
I said, I'm going to pay the venue through my credit card, through my business card. I will pay them directly. Great. Monday morning rolls around. This is the Monday before the 10th. Mm -hmm. We get on the phone, right? And I'm telling you, dude, the, 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 the shenanigans I had to listen to all weekend about my wife's got the car and the th it was like, I don't care, man. I'm just I'm trying to give you money to have your events so that I can shoot this this the rest of this doc and be great to the fans like dude I don't care about your drama don't yeah. care so we get on the phone with the venue couldn't be nicer lovely people Jimmy's on the phone I'm on the phone and I give them my cre my credit card they run it through I check with my banking institution the money's gone through we're good to go I said hey man awesome I'm getting on a plane in a few days. I'll see you in Allentown. I'm excited for this. This is going to be a great fucking event, dude. It's going to be while, great. While you were on the phone with the venue, did you verify that that was the balance that was due? Mm. They, th she told me five thousand is what we need. That was, uh, and uh, that was it. That's what she said. Okay. So I said, great. We're good to go. Okay. okay. So the venue, as he has kept continued to say for this entire thing, yep. was not the problem. The venue now, was now, paid for. By the hey. way, may I remind you, this is also Jimmy J's words. I said, what do you need? Mm -hmm. $5,000. That's what I need. I said, great. Done. I will do that. I will take care of that for you. Now, by the way, Jimmy has not mentioned this once in any of the talks that he's had online. He hasn't talked about being loaned $5,000. Nope. He said, Adam, Adam helped out. Right with some funds. Right. Yeah, he never told anybody, Adam Marcus gave me $5,000 <laughs> so that this event could happen for the fans. So by the way, all of the people out there right now with your knives out, I want you to really hear that, okay? Yes. I care enough about, by the way, even the people that are hating on me right now, I'm sure there are people hating me in the comments, okay? Even those people, I care about you enough that if you were going, and let's say you could, you didn't, you don't even want to piss on me if I'm on fire, okay? But you were going for Kane Hotter. You just wanted to see Kane. Guess what? I was spending that five grand for you too. Yep. Okay. So hate on me all you like. Up to this point, all I've done is given a guy a promoter of a show that I've been invited to as a guest. <laughs> I've given him money to put on his show. Well, and. By the way, I have some drops as well, because yeah. normally... That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Yeah. 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 That's not how this works. No, the the not. talent does not pay the promoter. Nope. The, or, or pay for the venue normally. But again, I was trying to take care of not just Jimmy J. I was trying to take care of all of these people who were coming to this event and all of the people that I represent by the by producing the documentary about Jason goes to hell. So Absolutely. I was like, look, man, I'm going to step up. I will help you. I'll get you out of the hole. Let's get the event done. By the way, during that week, my director has a medical emergency and is hospitalized. Mm -hmm. Okay. I then had to get new people to shoot this thing, new <laughs> hotel rooms. I'm right. So this is, these are the balls that I'm juggling at this point. That happens on Tuesday. I get on a plane Thursday morning for Allentown. Okay. Mm -hmm. When I get off the plane, my phone, I turn my phone on, it's blowing up and it's Stacy trying to get a hold of me. So I get on the phone with Stacy. Yeah. <laughs> The event is canceled. I said, it's what? What? She says, it's canceled. I don't know what to do. Oh, my God. I said, all right, Stacy, listen. I said, get, get Jimmy on the phone. Get Jimmy on the phone right now. So she gets Jimmy on the phone, and Jimmy starts his usual, you know, I'm going to do my, my Jimmy dance. And I said, stop. Stop. <laughs> By the way, guys, in the middle of this, I am told by Stacy, who was told by Jimmy that Jimmy's wife took the money for the event and left the state. Yes, I've heard that story too. Okay, so she left the state. Now, let me, let me, just, okay. let me just put this out there, okay? Um, this event was well over $10,000, okay? 
That means Jimmy's wife committed grand larceny. It's not Jimmy's money. Right. It's not Jimmy's money. Okay. That's grand larceny that he's now accusing his wife of to us. And I'm like, am I, is this happening? Like, why am I in the middle of all of this? But then a couple of weeks later, I see a photo of him and his wife, you know, oh, and they're just all, oh, well, wait, all, no, no, all no, hunky dory. No, 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 no. Well, I was told what the conditions were for her to come back. Cancel the event, give everybody back their money and never do another event again. Well, he did two now, of those three things. Now, by so the way, far. yeah, by the way, okay, like, hey, man, whatever your baby mama drama is, you go for it, man. It's all good. Like, do your thing. It's all good. It's all good. I yeah. said, Jimmy, Jimmy, what? He says, he says, Adam, I'm $1,300 below the, below what I need. I said, Jimmy, why did you tell me five grand before? What are, yeah. what are you doing? And now this guy's trying to get $1,300 more from me. I've just gotten off a plane in, in, in Jersey. I'm about to, to pick up my rental car and go to Allentown. I'm like, Jimmy, get the 1300 He's like, I'm on with my aunt about it. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> I said, dude, who doesn't have $1,300? Put it on a credit card. Do anything you have to do. I said, Kane is in Allentown. I said, you really want to do this to Kane? Right. I said, shit, man, I love Kane. Kane and I are brothers. And I would, I, I'm telling you, Kane, Kane would come hunting me. Like, what are you doing, man? Yeah, man. So there yeah. I am screaming at the rental car company to get Jimmy to find the 1300 bucks. And I, and, and he gets off the phone to go get the money. I say to Stacy, I say, Stacy, is this guy really trying to get more money out of me? I said, I gave him five grand. And, and I said, you heard him say that's all he needs. She goes, Adam, I just think, I think he's lying about a lot of stuff. Uh, I said, well, I don't know. I don't know. But if 1300 is all he needs, he can find $1,300 and right. get this done. Great. I then go to Allentown. I go to the hotel. I go in the hotel. I go to register for my room. It's not paid for. The room is not paid for. And I said, someone has to be on that room. I said, who, who, she says, oh yeah, Jimmy J Entertainment. I said, you need to run their card because I'm, that's, I'm not paying for this. They're paying for this. Guys, I sat there for two hours as the card was declined over and over and over again. Two hours sitting in a, in a, in a lobby. I finally went across the street to get something to eat because I was like, I was, my head was exploding. Um, so I came back once Stacy called me and said, Jimmy called them. They got the card to work. The room is paid for. I said, great, great. Wow. By the way, by the way, I, I know that there's like, I know that he said on a couple occasions, like how lucky I am I paid, that he paid for my room. I'm like, what? But that's part of the contract. <laughs> I would assume. Part of the contract. I'm flown from my home in Los Angeles <laughs> to this event that he's, that he's the promoter of and he's acting as though I'm lucky. By the way. <laughs> Kane Hodder paid for his own flight in his own room. Ugh. Fuck and hasn't know. been reimbursed. Now, hang on. I'm not going to say whether Kane has been reimbursed or not. I'm not going to say. Okay. Okay. Um, I am all I'm going to tell you, because you would have to ask Kane that or Kane's representatives directly. All I'm going to tell you is um, I know he's not happy. <laughs> so. Now, I don't want to see Kane not happy. No, no one, no one wants to see that. <laughs> He's already after Crank, so I mean, yeah. So, <laughs> here's the thing, guys. I go up to my hotel room and I sit and I wait. And I wait and I wait and I wait. The next day, I'm informed by Stacy that the event is now officially canceled. This is now Friday, the day before the event. I'm sitting in a hotel room in Allentown. I call Jimmy multiple times. <laughs> I've got the phone records, Jimmy, in case you're sitting out there going, no, he did. Yes, I did. <laughs> I leave multiple messages. I am on the phone with Kane. I am on the phone with everybody. Okay. He doesn't respond. He doesn't respond. I'm on the phone with Stacy again. Stacy, has he spoken to you? He spoke to me this morning, but he won't call me back. I don't know what to do. I said, okay. Um, 
I'm going to go live and talk to the fans. I said, here's what we need to mm-hmm. do. I said, Stacy, do you know any place that we can use to do a meet and greet so that any of the fans who are in town can at least come and see Kane and I will hang out with them. Right. I said, we'll do something intimate. I said, I don't care if it's in the lobby of the hotel, whatever, but let's do it. She said, because already I'm getting messages. Okay. Mm-hmm. It was at that point that Rick messages me. Okay. Tells me that he is in Allentown with his son, that this was a birthday present to his special needs kid. Mm-hmm. That they, this kid has been looking forward to this for six months. Um, and that they gave Jimmy money the day before. They gave him yes. money to save the event and gave him all of the money they had up to that point for autographs, for stuff that he wanted to do for his kid. He right. gave it to Jimmy in hopes that Jimmy would give it back to him at the show so he could do all those things, right? Okay. Um, I immediately, immediately call the guy. I don't message him. I call him on Messenger. And I said, yep. listen. He mentions it right here. He says, made me cry on this phone call. <laughs> He's such a good dude. This guy yeah. is such a good dude. Like, he is everything a dad should be. Like, I know yesterday was Mother's Day. Every day is Father's Day for this dude. Nice. And I said, I said, listen, I said, bro, I- I'm telling you this from the bottom of my heart. No matter what, you and your son will not leave disappointed tomorrow. I won't allow it. I said, if you guys have to come to my room and hang out with me <laughs> in my room and we'll watch some TV together and I'll give your kids some stuff and we'll talk, we'll talk shop. You can ask me anything you want. You'll get your own private documentary in my, in my hotel room. I'll do it, whatever it takes. I said, and I will get Kane's ass over here to my, my hotel room if I have to. There you go. Right? So that's when I go live. And what I say is that there is some shenanigans going on mm-hmm. because the promoter of this, of this event has gone dark. That's, that's the big bad thing I said about Jimmy J. Okay, <laughs> by the way, and he's Bro- been running on that for the last six months. Right. The promoter had gone dark. He wouldn't yeah. get back to anybody's calls. Now, by the way, I say this. In the meantime, while I say that, I am on the phone with Kane, with Stacy, with Chris, get, trying to get a new venue, trying to find a way. And by the way, you have no idea. Like, we spent truly nine hours on the phone trying to find a place to do this thing. Okay? While that happens, Jimmy J goes live. Mm-hmm. And he spouts a lot of lies and then tells me, hey, bro, I'm here. Come at me. The second his thing stops, I call him. <laughs> and he doesn't mm, answer. No answer. Hmm. And I leave him a message and I said, hey, hey, bro, um, the next call is to my <laughs> lawyer to let him know about your live and that you just libeled me. Ooh. And, um, hey, bro, I'm coming at you, but it seems that you're afraid of the phone call, bro. Broski. <laughs> I said, so let me tell you this. You paid for my hotel room. You know where I am, bro. Come at me. <laughs> I'm just waiting, dude. Bring it. Bring it. Like, let's yeah. go. Right? By the way, I never heard, hear a peep. From Jimmy J. He's so tough. He's such a wrestling guy. He's such a WWE guy. I'm such a wrestler. Really? Come at me, bro. Because yeah, I ain't seen him. He's threatened to punch a few people over all this. Yeah, by the yeah. way, by the way, that's the moment the bitch blocks me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and anytime, anytime anyone confronts him about this anymore, they get blocked. I know of Rick's been do. blocked. Of you know, others that have asked for their money have been blocked. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. well, I've been blocked. How dare yeah. they ask for their money? How right. dare right. they? Well, that's the right. thing. When we stepped to this, it was the whole thing was, all right, I, I was kind of torn like, ah, fuck, you know, I, I, this isn't really our type of journalism, but it's right. necessary here. But my, I was approaching this as like a, a court-appointed attorney, let's say. I was going to try to give this fucking guy a, a chance, a shred of something, yeah. until he gave us the cute little responses and kind of verified his character and I'll tell you another thing. All the things I saw getting ready for this, and I watched and read and listened to, this guy is the template for somebody who's caught in a fucking lie. Yeah, template. Well, well and let me uh, let me show one more uh, comment that we got 
on one of our videos from one of his uh, pals here. Uh, this is from someone that goes by the name Horror Daddy, which should tell you a little bit about that right now. Hmm. And it says, we all know what really happened. Ask your gay buddy so-and-so what happened. Nobody cares. Move on. Adam is a bitch, just like the same person that's named above. Uh, maybe all three fans that will listen will care. Uh, first off, it's a video podcast, dumbass, so uh, it's you can watch us, so maybe all three of the fans that will watch us will care. Mm. Uh, I think we busted that three in the first 20 seconds that we were live tonight. Though, yeah. So. Right, yeah. right. More people care about this than you think, boys. Sorry. Yeah. Well, look, here, here's the deal. Listen, you know, every, every screening that's happened of Jason Goes to Hell in the last six months has sold out instantaneously so there's you know there's there's some fans out there um look here here's the thing listen and again i, I got it you're 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 a fan of jimmy's and you're gonna stand by him no matter what because in our world now nobody ever hears new evidence and goes oh maybe i got that wrong no, no. one does that it's no. just i'm on the internet i did my research <laughs> and this is what i know and it's like okay all right all right brainiac um listen horror daddy 85 i'm sorry that Whatever it is about me triggers you. I'm sorry. Um, my my apologies. Um, again, I'm actually fighting for the fans, not for myself. Because by the way, I have never asked for my money back. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I never went to Jimmy, and and by the way, the first phone call I made, I said, "Here's what you owe me." Okay. Since right. that day, I have not asked for a dollar, not a centavo. Okay, nothing. I've asked for nothing from this guy. Okay. Mm -hmm. All I've said is that he should pay everybody else back. That's mm -hmm. it. That's it. Now, here's the thing. You guys have seen all the lives that I did over those ensuing 24 hours. Yes. Okay? Not one of them said a negative word about Jimmy. Not one. I did not say anything negative about the people that were involved in the event. Nothing. I said nothing right. about the venue or the hotel, which was lovely. By the way, the hotel I was staying in, is owned by the same people who own the venue. They're lovely. I got to talk to them. They're terrific people. Okay. Nice. These these bastards who are who are raping Jim. No, no, no. It's not true. So so here's the thing. Okay. Um, if Jimmy had called me after my live and said, "Dude, I didn't go dark. I'm so sorry. I haven't gotten back to your phone calls. Here's what's going on." If he had made that call, I would have said to Jimmy at that very moment, "We said, look, dude." This whole thing's a shit show. Why don't you come with us w when we do some other event? You can still be involved. We'll make this thing right for the fans. They just want to have the FaceTime. They don't care about a chicken dinner. Right. <laughs> They're there to be in this environment. Like, let's right. do that, man. So I was never against Jimmy being part of that at all. By the way, it wasn't an event. What ended up happening was we got four places that were all interested at varying degrees of cost. And Kane had become very close with this guy who's, who's just an insanely rich dude who, <laughs> who owns the biggest building in, in Allentown and owns the local hockey team. And so Kane went with him to go watch the hockey team play on that Friday night. And Kane turns to the guy and says, hey, do you have like a space in the building that we could use to do like a meet and greet? Can we use your lobby? <laughs> and the guy says, says, yeah, if you do it in the morning, I'll give you four hours in the lobby. And immediately Kane calls me. I say, hey, can we have any vendors? And he goes, you know what? I don't know. Uh, maybe I said, well, check with him. Check and see if we get vendors, right? He says, yes. You can, I think he said we could have five vendors. I think we ended up with like eight or nine vendors because we just started like trying to get a hold of anybody who was in town to do it, mm -hmm. right? Um, we put on this incredibly sweet, tiny little thing in the lobby where anybody who would come to Allentown and was staying there could walk in for free. Mm -hmm. Nothing was charged. Okay. To, to Rick and his kid, every one of the vendors gave them free stuff. Nice. Okay. As did I, as did Kane, everybody took care of his son because we knew that he'd given up his money to, to help with the event. Right. So now you've got all these people giving of themselves to be kind to the fans. And then there was a line of fans that all wanted autographs, that wanted stuff. And, you know, 
and that was lovely and that was terrific but again it's not why i showed up to this thing and by the way i had already canceled all of my guys coming to pa i was like you know we're we could make a documentary about this event going south, but I was like, eh, 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 um. <laughs> I was going to say, wanna... geez, that's got to be inspiration for a story up the road oh, here. <laughs> oh, you bet. <laughs> by the way, by the way, Stacy and Kane and I, we all grabbed my iPhone and shot footage of that. And some of that footage is now in the documentary. Excellent. As And by the way, with nothing, no ill will about Jimmy, no talk about the event going south, just shots of these people having such a good time because they actually got to just hang out with us and talk and chew the fat. And Kane was so happy we did it. Like it was a really lovely, beautiful event. Mm -hmm. And again, there was no promoter. Nobody made me money. That's not how it worked. Right. We did it because we felt really bad for these people who had traveled all this way. And this is the part that Jimmy J has never, you know, Dude, I got to tell you something. If someone tried to save my bacon the way K Kane and I did, Jimmy J should have called me and said, hey, man, thank you for being cool. Yeah. Thank you for actually giving a crap about the fans and trying to pull this thing out of the fire. And again, I gave him $5,000. <laughs> well, and he could have when you you know he could have taken that opportunity to join you guys at you this bet. new venue you bet. and stacy even tried, and stacy tried to make that happen and face to face apologize yes. to those that were there and be and like say, hey, guys. hey guys you're gonna get your money back but i'm glad at least you get to meet kane and adam i'm right. glad at least this is going on this is you know just something save some things by the way i would have gone on facebook live with the dude right all I was trying to do was get the guy on the phone. He would not return anyone's calls. Right. Well, and, that's and that's it. His, that's like, his MO fuck, now. Fuck everybody. I know what happened. That's all that matters. And that's his that's what he's saying now. Right. Yeah. Right. He Dude, said, I don't need know. to I don't need to explain myself anymore. Well, yeah, you kind of do because you I need to explain do. why most uh, I have not spoken to a single ticket holder that has been paid back. By the way, in full. by the way, wait, forget about the ticket holders. Guys, the vendors. Yeah, I haven't yeah. spoken to a vendors single vendor that hasn't been paid. Right. The vendors paid him right. cash. They paid right. him directly. Yeah, none well, of them have... bucks probably, too, each. I've been told, it's, anyway. It's different amounts. You'll, yeah. you'll see. It's Yeah, because if you're a friend of Jimmy J's, you can show up for nothing. Right. So there's a whole bunch of that. I've got all the financials. I've literally right. been sent all the financials from this event. Speaking wow. of... Well, before, before we get to that, I want to... Someone sent me this during the, uh, the downtime... Of, uh, it says uh, it's a Halloween, a spirit Halloween costume. <laughs> it says promoter, uh, acid wash jeans, megaphone, extra small button up shirt, not included, pair of Jordans to run away with money. So I, Look, I always here's, again, I thought that was Here's great. the thing, guys, and, and as I started this thing, I don't think he started with bad intentions. I really don't. I, don't. I believe that. I, I do don't. believe that. But I just, I feel like the pool filled up faster than he could swim. But you, you know when the pool is filling up. Exactly. You should have. Instead, and instead of saying, and instead of being a man and saying, hey, man, um, I'm screwed. Or I screwed up. This has all gone the wrong way. Now I've got two guys in my town to do this event. And they're willing to just sit in the lobby and talk to people. This is the part that I don't understand, man. Mm, right. Like, be a man. I'm sorry, be a man. Well, you mentioned uh, you mentioned some financials, and yeah. you uh, you actually uh, kind of last minute, which which threw me a little bit, but sorry, you were able to. Me. No, no, you're me. you're good. You're good. Pertinent uh, to the story. It's all right. It is pertinent to the story. I, I didn't. I think I've spoken either to or around this guy uh, with somebody, but let's uh, bring in another guest here real quick. Let me bring in Jason Counterman, uh, former bookkeeper for Jimmy J Promotions. Uh, I okay. assume former, correct? Oh, yes. Most definitely. <laughs> Most definitely. So Very what can former. what can you add to this uh, conversation? Um, was there enough in these accounts to even consider a Kane Hodder, Adam Marcus combo event? Every dollar that I know of was all hearsay about what Jimmy told me on the phone. Okay. Um, that's the first thing. So every number that has been given to me is basically arbitrary. 
because it's all it's all whatever did these people pay jimmy said yes did those people pay jimmy said yes everything did these people pay no well then we'll take them off the list <laughs> okay well did they ever, did they ever get back to you no they didn't get back to us so got to go bud so my kids just got out of the shower anyway oh, okay. um hopefully they got clothes on yes they, they, they okay. are okay. They got, they got. Because that's a different kind of show, and I'm not yes. sure we can do that on YouTube. No, no. So, um, I digress. Uh, I was in charge of pretty much dealing with invoices to the vendors. Okay. Uh, he would get an email or a phone call from a vendor from an advertisement that he put up, a Facebook ad saying, I'm looking for vendors. Mm-hmm. And they would contact him and then he would say, hey, Jason, uh, X, Y, Z wants a space. Okay. Could you send them an invoice? Sure. So he would send me their name, their phone number, their email address and how much to charge them. And I did all the paperwork and computered and sent it off to him. Uh, and then uh, with the, the Venmo or Cash App or PayPal or whoever, it all went to Jimmy's accounts. Um, and then... Uh, I would hear back from Jimmy. I would get a text that XYZ paid or XYZ didn't pay. And I'd say, okay, well, how long are we going to give him a 30 day contract? You know, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of time, you know, normal, straightforward, how to do it. Everything on the up and up. And we just waited for them to pay or not pay. And then he said to me, yep, they're good. They're paid. Put them on the, the list. So what I was also in charge of was setting up the, the vendor spaces in the event uh, like Adam said, um, we were friends. I still, well, we still are friends of the people who own the event center and they also own the hotel. And it was part of the deal as like a, a wedding, you know, the bride and groom, they get rooms if they have an, a wedding there. And mm-hmm. that was kind of the deal that we had with Adam and Kane was that, you know, they would have rooms with the hotel as far as the event center. Um, I can't speak much about that because they themselves have said they have legal action against this whole thing. They couldn't give me any information. They weren't going to. It's my wife was friends uh, with the family. They they worked together next to each other for over two years, mm-hmm. side by side, every single day. The daughter of the family. And we nice. trust these people. We know these people. We've had it. We've seen these people. I've done other events at the, this place. Um, they did not change the price. It's plain and simple. They didn't change the price last minute. I confirmed that with them in a phone call, yeah. but I, I tried to talk to them uh, on the record, but they didn't want to go on because of the legal right. issues, I assume, that you mentioned. Right. So, Right, yeah. of course. Yeah, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't get a lot of people to go on the record because most of the ticket, the people that bought tickets don't want to fuck up their chance to not get paid back if right. they show up, you know? Right, right, right. Uh, because he keeps saying, I'm keeping a list. You know, oh, a lot I of people are talking shit. I have a list too. I have a uh, list. Too. By the way, by the way, okay. I so, so what is Adam all the- I'm keeping a list of people who say anything negative about me, so that I don't have to pay you back. Is that a is that a legal term of art? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> that's something I a lawyer so. has has uh, informed him that that's the way this works. If somebody it, says you're a jerk, you didn't give me my money. You're you can then go. Oh, the debt is paid. You called me right. a jerk. Is that right. how that it's, works? It's con. It's con man one hundred one. Don't you remember this class? But again, but again, <laughs> I'm, look. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, and I think Jason will will back me up on this. What this ended up being was that he had money in an account for an event with Kane. Mm-hmm. He then put on an event in Jersey. Am I correct? Jason, he he just he did an event. We just did the Friday the Thirteenth. It's been one year. Uh, we were up with in CJ. Yep. With no, 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 no. Oh no, no, no. no. This was on Friday the Thirteenth of last year in Blairstown at, at the, the diner. diner. Okay, right. I was there. I met Stacy. I met Chris. I met all those other people. I'm a handler. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm, a, I'm security. I do handling. I work with the, the guests at the table. That's how I got involved with Jimmy J because I do handling for other conventions with the movie actors. And then I saw that he had an event in Blairstown. I'm local. I've known all about Blairstown my entire life and the whole business with Jason. And of course, everyone would make fun. Oh, you mean? No, I was named Jason before the movie. 
<laughs> but just being a local, everybody just makes it a thing, regardless. Sure. Um, uh, I, I, he had money, and we did the event. We had a bunch of other actors from uh, one, two, three. You know, Ron Milky, Tracy Savage, uh, Lauren Marie right. Taylor, um, uh, Harry Manfredini. We had Bonnie and uh, Shirley from The Burning. Uh, Sherry, I think I, I can't. I got to remember. There's a whole bunch of people. Ron right. Sloan, uh, Carol Locatell. Now that she's passed, but she yeah. was scheduled to be there. Uh, Vincent had, Vincent Desanti was there. This Vincent, one, I think. Vincent Desanti. Well, that was a whole deal. It was supposed to be original. Deborah Voorhees was supposed to be there, mm -hmm. and she was promoting her film Thirteen Fanboy, right. and then that got involved, and Vince Desanti got involved, and uh, Deborah and I have spoken since after that because I was one of her. I was her handler. Mm -hmm. I took care of her and all that. We had a big long discussion. She's a wonderful. Deborah, by the way, said, Deborah and Vin are both really good friends. So yes, yep. I know about all yep. of this. Yep, and. Uh, so I that's how I got involved with this because I know that people now, Jason, did the thing. No, no, I'm sorry wait, if I missed your question. It's okay. The important part of this is that monies that had been put into an account for the original event got intermingled with the new funds. He calls right? it the shuffle. Right. He has a term for it. Yes, shuffle. he does. Shuffle. The shuffle. It sounds yep. like he shuffled it off into his own paying his yep. own bills. Yep. That's he, where you can't. No, he, he paid off another event. So here's the thing. People who had paid to see Kane at that earlier event were now paying for an event that they might not even be a part of, <laughs> okay? So that when he finally gets to the Jason Takes PA event, the money that was supposed to be there from that original event has not been sequestered, has not been put in an LLC, in an account, you know, right. the way a business person works, has not been put aside for that event. It's Some of it's been used. Maybe not all of it, but some of it. Correct, Jason? Am I right? That is, that is correct. The money went somewhere. I know I have total dollar amounts. I could bring up numbers. I could talk numbers all day long um, about everything that I know what was raised and what wasn't raised. I mean, I'm looking at, did you, can I say numbers? You want to know numbers? I mean, I don't care. I mean, I don't care what people know or don't know, you know, uh, I would rather not get into numbers right. just for, Basically, just out of respect for the, the vendors and, and right. talent right. and all that stuff. Yeah. Right. Basically, Jason, all, all people really need to know is that what you told me, which is that the money for one event was spent on a different event. Right. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, almost oh, so, no, the money went somewhere it, because he had the money. I have records of him telling me that these people paid the money, right. you know, where, where that money went and what account and where it went to. I have no idea because it's all his. Right. It, was, it all went to different things. But I knew that these people were supposed to come. These people were scheduled. These people paid. And this is that. And I'm like, I'm running the numbers. And I'm like, well, this is good. This is good. You're telling me the venue costs this much. Well, we have this much. You uh oh. You spent this much on marketing. Well, we have this much. Now we By have the to way, take care of Kane's uh, guarantee. Pause, pa pause for one second about marketing. So, you guys know Corey Kaufman? Oh, yes. Okay. Corey did all the artwork for Jimmy J. Mm -hmm. Corey has not been paid. Corey is a friend. He has not been paid. And we've talked about it. And he's owed a lot of money. He has mm -hmm. not been paid. So all of the speaking, graphics that he uses for yes. the, the horror 365 podcast web stuff. Yep. All that stuff that he does is all the graphics, all the advertisements, all Corey has all not been paid. Graphic. That's what wow. Corey has let me know that he has not been paid. So wow. again, this is, and wait, and by the way, again, I'm going to underline, I don't think Jimmy J was trying to screw everybody. I really don't. I think he was trying to put on all these events, but he didn't know how to do what he was supposed to do. So the money got out of control. He didn't know where anything was. The money not, got out of control because he spent it on other things. I was going to say, spend yeah, it on the event. That's all it is. The money what? got out of control because he was I just pay that, pay that. If he had to pay his own financial stuff, he had to have. Let me ask he you paid this it on his own stuff. Well, the expectation yeah. of the tickets coming in, did they was it projected to, to cover his nut? So he was just thinking, OK, we just got to get to the event, sell the tickets and we're good to go. Was it just that simple? No, it was always in the hole. Always in the hole. Always in the hole. Wow. I've yeah. never, I was even always the in the hole. Even the projections weren't showing like it was going to fix everything, huh? That is correct. Wow. The numbers, that, the numbers that I have, the numbers that I sent Adam, 
at everything that I figured out, it, it's it was we were in the hole. We were. Now, by the way, I never got. To, I, I I think we spoke about this originally, Jason, but I, I uh, refresh my recollection. Did Jimmy ever tell you that I had given him the five thousand dollars? No, no. Adam told me. What? Adam told me. All of my numbers, all of my numbers, and Adam also told me that the the special needs family. I didn't have that money. I didn't have Adam's money. I didn't have anybody's money. Now, if we would have had those dollar figures put in there, we probably would have covered it. Hmm. You know, of going through those numbers of this, like I said. I have a question for you, Jason, uh, sure. because I, I have heard and I this is from a third party, so I can't and I yeah. haven't been able to confirm anything on this, but you may be able to confirm something on this. Well, first off, when when were you uh, done with Jimmy J Productions or promotions? When was your the last, last day? time? The last time I spoke with Jimmy J was it was. Um, the Thursday night, Thursday night, because I have the email. Pardon me if I move some before stuff. before the event. Before the event, I so have that, it on that would have been email. December eighth, probably. told me December eighth, Thursday, December eighth, twenty twenty two, at eight oh four p.m. I sent a mass email out to all of my vendors that the event was canceled. That was I spoke to Jimmy. Um, at eight o'clock, eight, uh, seven 30, eight o'clock on the eighth Thursday night, the eighth. And that's the last time I ever spoke to him. Okay. So but not you called me. I have not called him. Okay. So, but that confirms to me that you should know about this, uh, particular sponsor. Um, I was told that the Blairstown diner, Oh, I know a lot a, about the a, ma Diner. a major sponsorship for this event, and that they have not. I don't want again. I don't want to get into numbers. By the but, way, they they reached out to me as well. Yeah, furious, I'm, furious, and they can't be nicer. By the way, the woman who runs the uh, the museum. Yeah. Yes. She is <laughs> mad. Woo. Yes. <laughs> wow. She, sorry. Um, she made some. The, she made a couple of comments too on our social media about yeah. this, and she was just like, "Finally, someone is." covering right. this yeah. right and i love the people who are like why can't you just let it go let's see um hey guys who want to let it go if it was your money would you let it go yeah exactly. i don't think they would i don't think they would right i think you know people start getting paid back and let us know i got no problem passing that along absolute sure. so would i well, by the way is. i've been told i've been told there are a couple people who received twenty dollars um yeah. that's the most i've heard anyone getting back was twenty dollars um, when Jimmy J promised them that they would be getting a, a certain amount per week or every other week. Right. And, and it's been one or two payments at the most. And that's, and that's it. it. And that's it. But, but Jason, back to this Blairstown diner thing. And I, I don't want to yeah. spend a whole, whole lot of time on it, but can you confirm that they made a pretty hefty sponsorship deal for this event? We had, we had two deals going on with the Blairstown diner. Yes. One deal okay was for them to sponsor the Jason Takes PA event. And the other deal that was going on was to do events there for them at the diner on other Friday the 13th and other events that were to happen. Okay. So he had he had two different contracts going there using their property uh, to put on events for them, to increase business for them. Mm -hmm. But then also we were supposed to do something on January the 13th of this year. Uh, that never happened, of course. And then we were supposed to do something of October, uh, October 13th of this year mm -hmm. that was had major when Kane was involved with that as well. Um, okay. of after this was supposed to be better, and then other actors that I knew and other people that we knew. So, yes, Blairstown, uh, was very heavily involved. Um, again, the numbers are I don't know, I've never seen a receipt, I know a number, whether a number that number is real. It's yeah. another story. You know, it's the number that Jimmy told me. I've heard a number as well. Um, now, like I said, I don't want to necessarily right, advertise right, it. Right, right. right. Yeah. I mean, I I've, met, I've met with the owner and the manager several times at the Blairstown Diner, uh, them giving money to Jimmy J. Um, I've seen checks pass hands. I've seen dollar amounts pass hands. And what did he do with the money? I have no idea. 
I don't know. Mm -hmm. you, you guys were talking before I joined. I was listening to part of a conversation. Yes, he went in with the best intentions. Yeah, he, um, he did. Most definitely, he did. Mm -hmm. um, we did put on a show at Blairstown. Um, yes, we did. He had a partner um, whom him and I have discussed things, and we've talked to uh, you know, South Jersey Jason, you said before. Yeah. Yeah. We talked before, and we're good. We, Him and I had an, a misunderstanding, um, but then everything has been patched up, and we, we're fine. We don't have any issues. Stacy and I have talked a lot of things because we've had some issues that all stemmed from these different events because yeah. everybody's telling stories about what Jimmy says to one person and Jimmy says something to another person, which right. causes me to have a problem with that person. And now <laughs> right. that person and I are having an issue and we find out that the, we don't have an issue. It's because Jimmy's telling us a different story. Yeah. It's completely That's what ridiculous. I'm out. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what he did with the money, I have no idea, but he wasn't, it was, he didn't pay. He didn't pay the people that needed to get paid. Um, it's it's gone it's gone yeah uh adam let me ask you and again i don't want to get into yeah. specifics sure. but on a can you give me a percentage deal of what you got back for your contract did you get anything did you get your guarantee no 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 well by the way by the way here's the thing i did not have a guarantee nope. okay okay no guarantee i did not have a guarantee you were more interested in going for the, the documentary. I was going for the documentary. They, I was going to be at a table signing. And so anything I made that way was fine. Yeah. Okay. But honestly, it was, I was supporting an event that I believed in. I was going to be with my buddy Kane and, you mm -hmm. know, I mean, he's, I, I, again, he's brother to me. Um, and we were going to do this really fun thing with the fans. And I was able to actually bring my documentary crew so that we could actually turn it into something really special. Like I was actually trying to give Jimmy J a bigger platform. Dude. It would have been nothing right. but gold for him. And right. he was psyched. So this, love idea, that. this idea that he wasn't into that or I, it's just, it's, it's unbelievable to me. Dude, so, I would have sold a kidney on the black market to make no. this event happen. You know, if, if I had you guys oh. doing something like this. As I, he said he was only $1,300 short. No, nah, yeah. that's nonsense. Nonsense. <laughs> me, me and three of my people that we were all handlers, that we were supposed to be on the floor working for people, mm -hmm. security and this and that, all that. Yeah. Hey, you need uh, 200 bucks. Yeah, I got 200 bucks. You got two. Yeah. All of the people that were volunteers to help, all the other people that were staff, he didn't ask a single, not a single one of us. And I know he didn't ask me for a dollar because he knew he couldn't pay me back. And I know where he lives and <laughs> he wouldn't want me to go knocking on his door. Well, we may, we may need that address later. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> for legal reasons, for look, for papers look, serving. Look, again, right. again, listen, here, here's the thing. What I think is important about this entire story here is there are a lot of people out there that represent themselves as producers of this kind of event, of, as promoters. Mm -hmm. Promotions is hard. Anyone who's ever done it, anyone who's ever put on a convention, anyone who's done anything in this arena, it is really difficult. It's a lot of moving parts and usually you end up pissing someone off along the way. It's going to happen. OK, right. stuff happens. Right. But the thing is, if you if you're not good at it, stop doing it. <laughs> stop doing it. If yeah. you can't if you can't go out and get a business account that is separate, that family members can't get their hands on. Um, if you don't know to do that, if you don't know to run a business correctly, you shouldn't be in business. That's all. No. Yeah. And you shouldn't take money from people. Guys, look, you know, right. these fans, man, they work so hard for this extra cash to be able to go and do something special and meet people they want to meet. And I'm not talking about me. I'm just saying they want it. They want to have a, a, a moment, right? And so you're mm -hmm. stealing their vacation money. You're yeah. stealing their extra Christmas money. You're stealing these hard-earned dollars from people who work really, really freaking hard to make that money. Right. And I'm sorry. No, those people shouldn't get over it. Right. Exactly. When someone says that, I just man, it makes me crazy because I'm like, how dare you? You wouldn't get over it if someone was stealing the money out of your kid's mouth. Right. I've never seen him this upset. 
Oh, I know. And, well, and remember the first Facebook Live that Adam did? Yeah. I, I, everyone knew. I mean, you're always such a positivity person and, Dude. you know, happy go lucky and bubbly. And to see you on that Facebook Live hurt because you could tell that the blood was boiling and it was Dude, over your eyes. It wasn't just anger. It was, you know, I just gotten off the phone with Rick. Right. And I'm sitting there thinking, there's some kid sitting in a, sitting in a restaurant with his dad, waiting to meet his hero, and right. that's been stolen from him. Right. And how's he going to tell that? How's he going to explain that to him? You know. Right. Right. Exactly. Exactly. That's, What's the that would have been a hard level thing. there? We drove several states to get I, here, and you're not going to get this uh, wonderful birthday present that I gave you. It's right. it's mind boggling, man. Yeah. I. I actually wrote that down to Jimmy and told him the dollar amounts. And I believe I sent that to Adam as well. Yeah, you did. Um, I said, if all is said and done, we pay, we pay everybody. We pay the hotels. We pay this. We pay the venue. Who's who loses? I said, we're short Kane X amount of dollars. I said, mm -hmm. but we, we made one ang we made one actor angry. But according to all of our numbers, the event happens, everything's good to go, and it's a done deal. I said, right. but what you chose to do was uh, upset 82 vendors, 70 dinner and a movie guests, 28 general admission pre-sales, 24 talent agents and staff, uh, 18 other, uh, we, had, we had over 225 people that you're gonna piss off because you didn't have enough money shorted one actor a certain dollar amount. I mean, well, and, the way, and, the and be that much that more anyway. in the hole. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's 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 what I'm saying. It, it, it's like, dude, you need to put on the event. I know. I know it might sound stupid. You don't have. But th th then he just said, well, I guess I can't do it. And it just comes down to he just didn't have the money that I said that I thought that he told me that he had. He spent it on something else. Yeah. There's there's no other there's no other question. Uh Insane. you know, did he go out did he go out to steal it? No. No. But he didn't have it to do it. He right. spent it on something else. Those dollar amounts <clears throat> it didn't add up. Yeah. Nothing well, added so, up. Someone also sent uh sent me this at some point along the way. It's CJ <laughs> throwing him up against the wall saying, I want my refund. <laughs> That's that's a joke that they did for when he was up in Blairstown, and then he right. saw him again in in Allentown at yeah. another convention. He came back. He said, "Can we do this thing?" And they said, "Yeah, we'll do it." Yeah, and look, by the way, by the way, I, I I hope that everybody out there, you know, as, as riled up as as I might seem or, or whatnot, you know, I don't I don't wish anybody ill will. There's no there, 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 that gets us nowhere. But yeah. I will tell you, those of you that have not been paid back, you know. Um, when Keep hammering group, him. When a group of thing. people are owed money, you can absolutely file a class action lawsuit. Yep. And do not deal with this in some thuggish, stupid way. Don't go on Facebook about by the way, no. so everybody, Contact. everybody here, everybody here, check me if I'm wrong. Have I printed one word on any social media about this a moment since the time? Since no. the moment happened. No, not right. Not one word. Not one no. word. Jimmy J is the only one who's been coming down on this thing over and over again. So for the people out there like, let it go, we all let it go. Right. All that happened was fan after fan kept coming to me going, I got screwed, I didn't get paid, what the hell, who do we go to? Did you get paid? Did they pay you back? Blah, 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 blah. So here's the thing, guys, don't, don't get mad, <laughs> don't, don't get even, sue. Contact an attorney. Contact an attorney in the Pennsylvania exactly. area. Exactly. And because the truth is, and by the way, if you if you can't afford a, an attorney, contact the state's attorney. Or yeah, the attorney general. Because that's that's where this should be going. Yeah. So you know, because I I'm telling you, I know I know I'm gonna I'm gonna hear some retaliation on this on this on this podcast tonight and whatever. Um, but I'm telling you, um, I'm lawyered up. <laughs> Well, there you go. I mean, so yeah, the one base is covered. By I'm way, not, wait, but that's okay. Way, I worked for free. Right. Wait, <laughs> right. Wait, wait, hold on. And so did I, because here's the thing. I, I am taking care of what was lost for the movie. So I put that back in my own dime. Yeah. Okay. 
So I took care of the losses to the thing that I care about, which is that documentary and getting that done correctly. Okay. I'm doing that because that has to be done correctly. And I want everything to go the way it needs to go. So the fans mm -hmm. get what they, what they paid for. That said, um, I don't need anything from Jimmy J. I need Jimmy J to pay everybody else back. He doesn't right. have to give me a dime. He doesn't have to ever have to call me or say sorry. It would have been lovely if he had, if he had just said, I'm so sorry, man. That would yeah. have been lovely. Instead, yeah. it was threats and come at me and all this. And I called him on it. I, 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 went, I went to the plate. He didn't shut. <laughs> I was in Allentown for four days, just sitting there waiting for Jimmy J to come and knock it. <laughs> and he never yeah. showed up. I, yeah, so, I, you know, so, yeah, I don't... so, but he needs to pay everyone back. And I don't care if you got to get another mortgage, dude. I don't care. I don't care about your, your comfort. There's yeah. a, a lot of people you screwed. And I don't think you did it on purpose. I don't think you're internally a terrible person. I'm not going to say any of that. But I'm telling you, do the right thing by the fans. That's it. Adam, have you heard from any fan that got fully reimbursed from Ticketbrite or Eventbrite? Not one. Not one. I not haven't one. either. Yeah. Jason, not do you know anything on that? We looked. Nope. Nope. Uh, okay, oh, yeah. I, I've... I've I used to have an email and uh, I sent out that email that the event was canceled. And then the people that the vendors were starting to use that as a message board and mm. they were commenting back and forth and telling me this and telling me that. And some of them were team Jimmy and some of them were team Adam and Kane and going back and forth. And some people were all up and said, you know, Jimmy's OK. Jimmy's OK. I've known him forever. And then other people were saying, no, 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 he screwed us. He screwed us. So, and then um, I was reading them and everything was going great. I got in contact with Adam. I send them all the information. I sent them whatever email addresses of those vendors that I had. He has their phone numbers, their emails of what I could give them. Um, and then it said something about, thank you very much that this is coming as a message board. And then it just went dead. Everything stopped. Um, hmm. Exactly when that happened, I can actually look that up. Um, Oh, the well, last... you look... yep. oh, go ahead. Um, March. Okay. March 8th. Huh. March 8th Is... was the last email I got um, from other okay. people. This is very embarrassing for that clown. I don't like to call anyone out, but it's ridiculous to think that this could happen. I feel sorry for all you guys, as I am only waiting for on $300. But you guys... Um, lost so much more and that's a damn shame yeah and uh that's what people that's what people are commenting um it was after he did a podcast with another with another person yes. Yes. He, right. jimmy jimmy did another podcast uh explaining his situation and of course again those numbers were all different than my numbers by the way, and it's really funny. different than Adam's numbers. I watched that. I watched that podcast, and he was very, very careful because I had left him the message about about my yes. lawyer. Yes. Um, and he was very, very careful. Do very we want to? Do we want to look at a clip of that? Oh because... my goodness! I'm so excited to see Jimmy J. Just love I mean, it. I mean, we can we can uh, we can do a clip of that real quick if you uh, sure. would like, just to see what. We don't have to do the whole thing, I don't think, but... Keeping this real, man. Let's see here. Here's a bit part of it here. It's muted. And more. You have there to unmute? Yeah, start it again. This is the most <laughs> exciting part of the podcast, by the way. This is terrific. Yeah. It's, this clip is... Uh, it's just awesome. I'm glad to see, though, that he's got enough money for some new shark yeah. skin jackets, so that's terrific. That's, that's what I'm saying. He's it, it's so, you know, the incriminate himself so easy with some of these, the contradictions just pile up so fucking fast. And it's always someone else's fault. That's the part. Look, I mean, the, the, the fact that they were actually saying that a different promoter stole Kane and I. Right. What? <laughs> I also saved the video right now. And I'm just saying my piece here, of guys. Jimmy in the car. 
Yeah, I didn't get that because he had taken it down before. Oh, I made sure I did an old school. I did an old school recording. Held my phone up, hit play on the laptop, and like Bro, listening, brother, I still recording need a songs off of the radio. I right. still need a copy of that, by the way. That's oh. I, can't, I don't know how to send it, but I'm trying. I'll, I'll tell you how. Yeah. I'll tell you how. <laughs> Not a problem. I don't know what's going on with the sound there, but right, guys. Ultimately, yeah. ultimately. Um, He, he's 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 got to do the right thing. He's just got to do the right thing. Yeah, That's it. he's got to do the right thing. That would go miles in of course it would. In, in the forgiveness department. If you plan to stick around here and attempt to keep doing this, I mean, how the fuck are we supposed to trust you? You know, as fans, us here he as fans, he should just be done. He's yeah. done. I yeah. I would done. think, I would think he's. There's no way he can do an, another event anytime soon. There's no way. Hasn't he been doing, doing um, wrestling? He's doing wrestling events, isn't he? Well, He's doing watch I party. think that's a little bit different animal. Watch party. party. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Well, that's great. Hey, a watch yeah. party is great. That's awesome. And that's his area. If that's, that's where he great. excels, go that direction. Heck stay yeah. out stay out of the horror world. By the way, let me tell you something. If he if he paid everybody back, I would I would completely let bygones be bygones and never have a negative word to say about the guy. Seriously, like that would do it. Like all you got to do is say you're sorry and then put your money where your mouth is. And by the way, that means you're going to have a shitty year. Right. Oh, that yeah. means this year is going to be bad for you and your family because you're going to have to somehow pull that money out of your family budget and pay people back. So right. if you're willing to do that, man, that's beautiful. And then I, my hat's off to you and I go, you're an yeah. honorable guy. You might not be a great businessman, but you're an honorable dude. That's right. all thanks. I I'm saying, I mean, because if this isn't bothering you at all on any level, you, you've you got to be an incredible piece of shit. I mean, right. if it's not, there's no effect. If, well, if it I, doesn't keep you awake at night knowing that you fuck people like that, I don't well, know, man. No one, at least as far as I can tell, no one in the comments has uh, no. disagreed with anything that has been said so far. Which, oh, yeah. Well, that's uh, lovely. That's lovely. Full support, you know, full support Adam. You know, maybe uh, Horror Man eighty five is you know has gotten past his hatred of me and uh, horror, da horror daddy. Horror daddy. It's, it's, it's even, daddy. It's even no. worse. Yeah. Horror daddy eighty five. Let's be real I, here, I, Adam. It's I the dead eye thing. It's is. the fucking dead eye thing, man. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> well, uh, let me. One of his friends went by that nickname, so I think I know who that is. Oh, okay. I've I've been told who horror it is daddy. as well. Yep. So. Yep. We, um, we expected it tonight a bit to, yep. to some few of them to pop in here, but uh, you know, hey, they're being respectful. If they are, and that's so great. awesome. And that's again, great. Yes, the, welcome. The, right. The whole point is watch, hear what everybody has to say, and you might. But look, there was one guy who came at me, and he came at you guys, and I private messaged him. He, of course, then put that on his Facebook <laughs> as a thing. But wait, but I private messaged him, and I said, "Hey, man, I'm not gonna, I'm not going after this guy with knives. That's not happening. That's not the way I roll." I'm talking about what actually happened from my perspective and what I was told either on the phone with Jimmy or from my own management or from Kane. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie about it. Like there's no, I get nothing for that. What do I win by lying? It's what happened. It's what actually happened. Jimmy does not have a side. I love no. this idea that there's two sides. There's no two sides. There's One definitely person two fucked sides. up, the other people didn't. <laughs> That's it. Well, uh, I, I, guess we, I guess we hit a nerve, oh, Adam. Boy. Uh, Finally. Yep, because uh, okay. Megan okay. says, I disagree 150% with everything you were saying. And leave my husband, whore daddy 85, out of your mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, there she, you go. She turned into Will Smith. There it so. is. There it is. Or, so... There you go. Know, there, there's the hatred. Well, or just, uh, you know, yeah, someone with a great sense of humor there, maybe. I got Chris There's wrong. the hatred. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but, you know, the reason I showed this comment earlier is because I wanted to kind of show the, the quality of person that is sticking up for Jimmy J, you know, calling somebody gay because they think that's an insult. Uh, calling you a bitch, Adam, for no reason and then insulting our show because whatever. we only have three viewers or whatever yeah, or, yeah. or excuse me listeners because listen. whatever guys it's whatever. again it look it's and and again listen if you're upset you're upset and that's and again i i actually 
I understand that until you hear all the stuff laid out, you're going to take a camp, you're going to take a side, fine. The point is there's no sides. There's no sides. There's a bunch of people who got screwed out of money and time. And that's it. That's, that's it. There are people who are wronged and someone who wronged them. That's it. So there's not, it's not like Kane and I went, God, how can we screw Adam is a liar. Okay. All right, yeah. Megan. I'm sorry you feel Thank that, you. Megan. I really am. Yeah. Um, no, and by the no. way, I'm sure, and by the way, Megan, I'm sure your husband's actually a really lovely dude. So I'm not saying anything negative about your husband. I'm really not. Um, I'm just saying that if you hear all the facts, you're going to find out that somebody did something wrong to a lot of people. Megan, and that he person wasn't money. Me. Which we pretty much laid out tonight. Spend it. And I retract my statement about a clever uh, humor there. <laughs> well, hey, okay, before we get any further, I've yes. been wanting to get this guy in here for a little bit. He's been yeah, waiting patiently. Right. Uh, one of the... <laughs> victims, I guess? Oh, uh, God, I was, I, was, I was looking for a different word, but yeah. Ass bucket. It one is, of the is. victims... One of the victims of Jimmy J Promotions and the Jason Takes PA event, Mr. Rick Paulton and Ricky himself. What hey, is Ricky. up, Rick? Yeah. Hey. Woo. He hey, says hi. <laughs> How you guys doing? Oh, Not hey. bad, man. Hey, can you turn down uh, the external audio? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, Ricky was listening on that while because I had the headphones on. <laughs> oh, okay. You'll have, to share, you'll have to share the headphones with him or something here, but... <laughs> uh ricky uh rick ricky first off hello i've heard a lot about you welcome to our show man welcome welcome um <laughs> you have to get him some headphones next time uh rick you were one of the people that actually sent him extra money because yeah. he 100 percent guaranteed that with an extra hundred dollars the show would be a go Correct? Right. Am I saying right. anything wrong there? No, that, that's pretty close. I, I know I donated uh, an extra $100, and I told him, like, hey, dude, that's my gas money. I'm not going to be able to get home. Somebody wired me the money, and I was able to get home. But right. um, actually, you know what? I, I lie. Jimmy did give me back the gas money, but I also donated money oh. on top of my tickets because I don't want, I want to keep everything 100 You know what I mean? Yeah. I want to save these okay. extra. He did give me back the gas money, but I also donated money on top of our $600 tickets that I said, hey, I don't need this back. This is what I can give you. And then when I gave him the gas money, though, I said, I'm only giving this to you if you can guarantee me the event was going to happen. And he said, and I, I showed you from him. So you, right. you have the, you know, his words, you know, like 100%. Well, I, I can, can actually, this is gonna happen. I can play that for you here, too. So, uh, <laughs> so I think this. You, did you have a VIP package? Is that like the $300 a ticket? That's what no, you $300 a ticket was for the dinner package. I did have right. VIP tickets for the event in Blairstown, and that got all changed too. They was like, well, he was telling me that the people representing the talent, which of course was Stacy Lee, who we spoke about earlier, mm -hmm. uh, they're and changing. She's in the, the rules chat, the so yeah, I, I know she is. That's why that's why I brought her up. But they're changing the rules to the game, and this is going to cost me more money, and I'm not going to be able to do the group photos that you that you got in the VIP, the extra autographs you're supposed to get, the set and everything. And at this time, I don't really know the dude. And I'm just trying to support people in the horror community because that's what we are. We're a community. Yep. So right. that, you know, so I'm like, you know, hey, it's not that serious. I'll take selfies with these guys. I'm here. They're here. Life's good. I don't want to take money out of the pocket of the event that was happening because mm -hmm. I want you to be able to do more events. And we had the discussion. Everything was cool. But at that time, I'm thinking that this is just a hard luck, bad luck situation. But then after this other event, I don't know, man. I just think it's all bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. here is a uh, voice message that Jimmy J sent to you right. about the, uh, you know, extra money that he needed. Hey, Slick Rick, let me ask you, man, because uh, I pretty much exhausted all my damn options here. It's a, this is a mess. So we're still short about six. I got to take care of this. I got to take care of it so we can have this fucking event. So I'm shifting Kane's per diem money, which is five twenty-five dollars over uh, to pay the hotel now, but I'm still short $75. Dude, if you have anything towards that, I've never been so fucking broke in my life because I, I put everything into this because of this venue to help get closer to that 600 so I can finally get this goddamn venue taken care of and we can lock this shit in. And uh, he's dude, still blaming I, I it on the venue. It, man. I'm sorry to even right. ask you, man. I really <laughs> I am. I can send that back to you. 
I can send it back to you when I see you, or I can give it to you in cash when I see you. By the way, yeah, this is po- after I had already given him five grand for the event right. or right. the venue and for paid the venue directly. And yeah. Rick, just right. to let you know, you were listed as a comp guest, not that you paid. Wow. Right. But Interesting. I can show you, in my, can show you in all my the receipts paperwork. that I sent him money. He told yep. me, because at first I didn't even want to go to this thing. I didn't have the money to do it and I wasn't going to do it, but I met Brian and him at the event and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll, I'll, I'll come up with the money. Cause my kid, he's really into Friday the 13th, so, so mm-hmm. am I. But um, I, I was like, fuck it, I'll come and I'll pay to see you guys. I'll come to hang out with you guys. I don't care, let's make this happen. Because, you know, he kept sending me messages. I'll give you a special deal. It's like, dude, I don't want a discount. You know, I'm, I want to support you. Mm-hmm. I, I don't need you to give it to me cheaper than everybody else. I'll pay what you're asking, that's fine. So then, you know, th- again, and then there was a cop my ass. <laughs> My 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 point was that the the reason why it was comped is that your dollar amount wasn't added to my total. Right. Okay. It was That's taken off was, the books. It was I, taken it, off the. So the yeah, original so price paid. was three hundred a ticket. We bought two tickets. Halfway through, he said, "I'll give you like a hundred dollars off, and it'll be five hundred for the two tickets." And then at towards the end, he was like, "You know, he's asking me for more money." And I was like, "Dude, I'll send you another hundred and fifty. That'll be the hundred I owe you and a fifty dollar donation towards the cost, right. which right. I." I wanted to pay the whole thing anyway, but he was insistent on me paying part. So right. whatever. So then on top of that was eighty dollars that I sent him for the gas that was my gas money. It was not hundred, it was eighty dollars. And he got me a hundred back that day. So when I when he was asking me what do you owe what do I owe you? I was like, Well, I gave you six hundred for tickets, fifty I, I donated to the cause. I don't want that back. That was a donation. And then, yeah, you know, so you gave me back the the hundred on the eighty for the gas money, so you owe me five eighty at this point. From there um, the, the the little graphic you posted earlier of um, CJ Graham choking the guy. Like, Where's my yeah. refund? I commented yeah. on that, and he's texting me back. He got all stupid about that. I was like, dude, it's been months. You haven't paid me anything. Of course, you know I'm gonna make a big deal. So he goes, I said, you know, I made a deal with him. You can pay me twenty dollars every two weeks and, until it's paid off. From here to whenever, it don't matter. He sent me twenty a couple days later. He said he was gonna send it that day, but it was a week later. Right. And then another time. Somebody else made a post and I commented on it. And then he goes, and he sent me another 20. So I got $40 more from him. So now he's into me for 540 and I've never heard from him again. He messaged me one day again because I commented on somebody else trashing him. And he goes, hey, Rick, you know, I'm so sorry. I forgot. I got this, this, and this going on. I said, dude, I'm asking for the price of a sandwich and a beer. It's nothing. Yeah. yeah. You know? Every two weeks. <laughs> right. Or whatever, you know, just whatever. You, if you can say you're paying monthly, whatever, just say something and stick to that. That's right. where I was at. By the way, so, by the way, one, one quick thing. Um, uh, while while you guys have been talking about this, um, mm-hmm. someone someone who um, who I had gone back and forth with previously about all of this um, just messaged me mm. with a really wait with a really lovely message. Uh-huh. And 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 I got to tell you, look, I'm not going to read it. and I'm not going to say who it is, but uh-huh. I gotta, I, wait, wait, no, no, no. But this is important. This is really important. OK, uh-huh. the whole point is we can all get entrenched in our camps. We can all say that, you know, people can call me a liar or whatever. OK, they're going to do that anyway. But there there is a place here where people can really listen and go, oh, wait a second. I didn't know this whole story. And I yeah. was only told one side of things. And now I'm hearing a different side. And wait a second. This doesn't line up the way I thought it would. Right. That's all. It's right. not. And again, as I've said now several times. And I agree with you, Adam. I don't think that that was ever his intention to screw anybody. No, of yeah. course right. not. The, the, the point is this. Just do right by the people who gave you money. That's it. Do right by them. We're good. We're yeah. good. I'll mm-hmm. never say a negative. And by the way, again, I've not said a negative word about this guy since the event. I haven't spoken about it. So nope. this this is just this is just one of those moments where I just go, guys, if everybody can just stop with their anger and stop being entrenched in one place and just listen, we can actually get people paid back and it can be solved and everybody can walk away from this thing without all the bad feelings. That's mm-hmm. all. That's all. And by the way, I do want to say one of the greatest things about this event and it, actually not one of the greatest thing about this event was when I got to meet Ricky and ricky for the first time ricky wanted to be called rick (laughs) and i thought that was the coolest thing i had ever seen 
that you wanted to be called the same name as your dad. And I just thought that was beautiful, man. And I'm telling you, it made the entire situation, the whole, that whole event, it made it worthwhile because you were so cool, man. You, yeah. you are a cool dude. 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 dude, and Adam, this is why, this is why I cool. appreciate having you as a friend of the show and as a yeah. personal friend. Um, you know, <laughs> people can come on here like Megan Sure. and say you're a liar sure. and people can go on other podcasts or whatever and say you're a liar but uh, yeah uh we've known each other now for coming up on six years five yeah. at least five years yeah. and you've always been a class act you've always been overly honest in some respects and you know that yeah. that's what i like about you and i think right. once more people I know you've won more people over just with your fucking personality. And right. then they go back and they look at the movie that they ripped on for 25 fucking years. You know? And they go, you know what? It's not as bad as I thought it was. I you tell know? everyone, if you, if you hear Adam explain the movie, it's a far better movie. Yes. When, you, when you hear it from the horse's mouth and what he was thinking in it, everything makes a lot more sense. And it, it's a fantastic movie. And also he wrote... Even though they fucked it up, it's my favorite Texas Chainsaw movie. Thanks, dude. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, dude. I love it. Thank you, brother. And you know what? Cool. One more, one more thing. Um, when I was uh, I was doing my podcast, the whole damn lot of podcasts, I just started doing that. And uh, I do a little segment with Ricky where he's doing movies. And I just started mm -hmm. after after um, Carol Logatel passed, I did the Big Dildo of the Week segment. Nice. I just crashed somebody. And uh, we were actually <laughs> talking about Ted DiBiase, but Jimmy J came up. And um, I was like, I was, I was saying... <laughs> I was saying Ricky was still down here from doing his segment, and I was he said um, I was saying how uh, he uh, there's rumors that Jimmy said that Adam and Kane fucked him, and J and Ricky Ricky unprovoked he goes they would never do that, yeah because <laughs> he knows them they're his friends. <laughs> hey Ricky, his favorite is Friday the Thirteenth. That's his yeah favorite. he loves Friday the Thirteenth. He does he okay yeah. before we before you hang up with us tonight you get us your PM your address to us and we're gonna send this to him okay oh awesome oh that's this. awesome <laughs> there you Friday go that's really cool. Cool. we that love that so you're cool. on your way to being a horror fan that's the best man so that's for yeah. you that's right. <laughs> all right he's gonna love that all right yeah yes, yes. It's lake and lake. yeah all right so Ryan. Uh, I think Ryan is a friend of Rick's. He has a question. He does a uh, podcast with me. Okay. Uh, and by the way, that podcast is the whole damn enchilada podcast. You can find it on Spotify and YouTube. And uh, is there anywhere else? Just Spotify. Just Spotify, just Spotify right Spotify? now. Okay. Yeah, we're going to be on YouTube eventually, but we're just starting. We don't understand technology. We're getting better every week. <laughs> you're, you're, you're old man trying to figure yes, out sir. the uh, the TikToks of the world. Yeah. Huh? God. Yeah. I can yeah. relate, brother. I can relate. We, we, we feel your pain. Good luck. Um, Ryan wants to know, Jason, you may know this, um, on the other podcast that Jimmy did, he said he spent six to seven grand on just advertising for the Jason Takes PA event. Who did he pay this money to, and where was all this advertising supposed to be? I never saw an ad for it anywhere besides social media. I'm assuming that's primarily where it was. That's the only place that he ever told me he did advertising. Um, it was nowhere near six, seven grand. Right. Exactly. He never, he never paid Corey, who did all the graphics. Yeah. Right. Um, but he, I don't know of any other, no Google, no, no Bing, no one, no one that I know of. Mm. It was all Facebook. Um, and then, of course, whatever he said he did on the podcast. I'm looking through it right now um, with that, that graphic that I had mm. uh, my own. But, of course, it's on the phone, which doesn't help. Um you want a number? Uh, I don't think we need a. Okay. Ballpark. Well, Just ballpark it, man. No, if yeah. Got, I mean, if he's got, actually, if he's he's, he's he threw a, he threw a number out there, so yeah. Let's okay. let's have the number. Well, give me give me a second here because right. that is a different number. Give me a second. I That's cool, man. I'll just say like uh, we were actually approached about being a part of this event. And uh, it was an earlier event. An earlier, I, I, earlier I looked it up. Right. 
And yeah. Crank kind of sniffed it out and was like, eh, something ain't right about this one, man. Well, I politely declined. Yeah. And then uh, a week later, I got a, another message saying, hey, uh, just because you guys are so cool, or so, I, I'm paraphrasing. Yeah, it was. So it was don't, so don't quote me on this. And then um, he said this about you. I'm paraphrasing, but uh, it, the message came back. Oh, you guys, you guys are so cool. I'm going to give you the sponsorship for half price. And I, and I was like, dude, honestly, we just don't want to sponsor anything on the East Coast right now because we don't go out that far. We're not there yet. We're yeah, not right. there yet. If we were physically able to come out there, we could. Now, a couple of years later, we could, yeah. but, um, and we did. But, you know, at that point, we just turned it down. And that was when I went back to the guys and was just like, yeah, something's a little fishy that he just dropped his price like yeah, that. It was, you know, yeah, it was it was a little over a grand is what, what I have. That's what I was for guessing. ad. I have written down advertising and it's it's uh, between between uh, one and fifteen hundred. OK, so. One grand between one grand and fifteen hundred is what is what he said. He told me he spent on advertising, not, not six, six to seven thousand that he advertised no, on. No, yeah. no, no. I recall seeing it come across Facebook a little bit. Not much though, but I do recall I did see something about that event. Is yeah. is uh, is that a lie out there? I mean, we've got the the fucking bookkeeper. This is right. how they got. This is how they got Al Capone. They found the bookkeeper. Great the movie, train. by the way. Yes, it is. I love that movie. Um, but anyway, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, and again, unfortunately, the unfortunate thing is I never got a receipt. I don't have confirmation emails. It's all hearsay that Jimmy told me. Yes, they paid, or no, they didn't. I, it cost me this much for the venue. I got this much money from uh, this vendor. Okay. What those numbers did, did I sent an invoice to vendor XYZ and mm -hmm. for $300. Okay, Jimmy, did XYZ pay you? Yes, they did. Okay, good to go. Maybe they only gave him 50 bucks. Maybe like they did to Rick. They said, no, he's comped. He's good. He's good. I got taken care of. You know, he's so I don't know what he did, but what he did was always half truths. It was always nothing ever added up. His numbers never added up. So I can't say for 100 for what a doubt what the right. actual numbers are. I know what my numbers are that he told me. Well, even it, what even told me is far that's less. just not the way to do business. That's the no. problem. This no, is all no, no, no. about a business screw up. It's no way to do business. That's all. That's all. Right. And it it it, put, it gives other promoters a bad name when this kind of thing happens. So then nobody knows who to trust. And it's just simply have a business plan, have accounts that make sense, do your business correctly, and don't screw people. That's it. Right. Well, and I, I, oh, Sean Clark is another talent agent out there. And he, <laughs> yeah, he actually was on Jimmy J's podcast, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play the clip because it's it's yeah. a little longer. But he basically says, if you don't have the money to pay the talent, don't put on a show. Yep. Yeah. And he and he says this Correct. on Jimmy's show. I was just and about to just, bring that up. <laughs> it's just it, it's so. I played it for uh, Ziggy the other night, and he was just like, "That's fucking amazing." Oh, when, <laughs> when, when was he on? When when did this? It happen? was uh, it was just a about a month month and a half it was ago, about wasn't it? A month ago, but I think wow. we were tired of that. But um, Sean had no idea about any no. of this stuff. Right. I reached out to Sean as yeah. soon as I <laughs> heard that he was going to be on the show because I, I thought it might be live. Like, dude, and I was don't. like, "Dude, wh what are you doing?" He's like, "Oh, I, I didn't know anything about that. I've already recorded wow. it." Right. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. And ironically, but, he's bringing up how promoters have beaten talent and pay. Make sure you have all the money up front, et cetera. Et cetera. Oh yeah. yeah. Like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Otherwise, you're rolling the dice that you're going to have the dough, and then like, yeah, Jimmy was the whole way. He's like, oh yeah, that, that you know that's really good advice. That's sound. That's really good. That's, that's yeah. exactly how it should go. Here's a good piece. Uh, this is a comment on that uh video and somebody says sean discussed some very good points of being a bad promoter was that awkward for you <laughs> and then uh jimmy j i assume responds not at all poor 
poor judge of character to trust others too easily and maybe made a bad decision or two, but not a bad promoter. Mistakes happen as long as you own up to them, clean them up, and don't make that mis that same mistake again. I agree. Uh, I agree. I, I, I agree with that too. I agree with so That's a great own statement. up to it. So own and, up to it and, stop and clean saying, it up. And stop saying that Kane and I are the villains in your scenario. We're not. Right. You weren't being stolen as some representative tried oh, dude, to say to. They could have totally to... left. They could have totally left VA and would have been nothing wrong with what they right. did. I mean, the, you know, and the worst part about this is this was supposed to be donations for Kane's burn victim, burn right. charity. Oh, no. oh. And they, they didn't get a dollar. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh oh. <laughs> what, what? what? There was never any money to go to the burn foundation. Well, never. Like, I was not a single that dollar. Donate for charity, donate for that charity, and I, I, I wanted to set up a vendor booth, which he tried to charge me for. <laughs> yeah. And um, I was going to set up a vendor booth to donate some stuff, and then eventually, when the event was falling apart, I was like, "You can just have this stuff, and then you could donate it to either half of it to you and then half of it to Kane." And who knows? I, but yeah, I was. I kept saying that you say this is for Kane's charity. What money is going to Kane? I mean, what right. what money's going That's to the charity? Shame. What money's right. going to the charity? I mean, every dollar that we're getting isn't enough to cover the event. There right. was no money to donate. There wasn't <laughs> enough people. Unfortunately, people still didn't have the money for COVID to right. come back to right. spend three hundred dollars. I mean, sometimes it's hard to get thirty or forty bucks to go to an all-day event at Atlantic City. Or mm -hmm. some other convention sure. in Philadelphia. Sure. Sure. You know, these guys got, I got 30 bucks, I got 40 bucks to go to a convention. No one's going to fork over $300. Well, and I kept saying, I kept saying to Jimmy, for like, dinner and a movie. Right. I, I mean, said, dude, yeah. why are we doing the dinner? I don't understand the dinner portion of this. Like, <laughs> can it just be an event with the movie and we, you know, you give out free popcorn? Like, I don't understand the dinner, but he wanted the dinner and I gave him the five grand. He wanted something different, is yes. what I he guess. Wanted, yeah. He wanted what he liked was the community and everyone talking and telling stories. Now, this is Jimmy is a bad businessman, but Jimmy's a good hype man. Yes. Right. And what he yes, was hyping, is. what he was hyping was the camaraderie and the interaction. And this is a hundred percent correct. When you go to an event and you pay 30 or $40 to get into the event and you stand in line for an hour right. to get someone's autograph or right. two hours or three hours, mm -hmm. you're standing in line, you paid them $100 for the autograph, the actor doesn't even look up, scribbles their name, passes right. it off, you get your <laughs> quick little photos, snap, sneaky with the phone, um, the selfie, and then you're gone. But Jason, There's, wait a minute. But to some that, of them are like that. To your wait, to your point, you're absolutely right. Here's the thing: Rick was at the event that we threw, that Kane and I threw together with Stacy and Chris. Mm -hmm. He was at that event that next morning, okay, mm -hmm. on the day that the event was supposed to happen. Um, hey, Rick, was it a warm, friendly event that everyone absolutely. was just hanging out together and just it, talking it and shooting the shit? No, it was, it was awesome. It was, how was the chicken? How was the chicken, Rick? <laughs> <laughs> no, and. and and like my son, my son, he has um, he, he it's hard to understand him sometimes, and um, he wanted to ask. We, we got our autographs and we were kind of excited. We met Kane and uh, we walked away, but he really wanted to ask. He had questions. He wanted to ask Kane that was supposed to be asked at the dinner. So we we marched up in front of the line and Kane stops everything and he starts talking to him and I start to translate for Ricky, and Kane stops me. He goes, "Hey, I got this," and he treated him <laughs> no, hundred percent. And he treated him like a, a human. And, and like listen to him and answer his questions, and it was just amazing. Kane was amazing with him, so yeah. he like he he must have experience with kids with um these kind of conditions or something, you know. Sure but he does. treated them. It, it was so awesome, man. It just made my day hundred percent. Again, I don't if I don't get another dime, dude. I got more than my money's worth, you know. Right. Period. I mean, right. but I don't, we want I don't, you, we want still, you to I, get your money back. Yeah, though. That's I, the like point that. of this show. Yeah. Yeah. I, yes. I told um I told Adam that day I said if I ever get this money back I'm gonna donate it to Kane's charity. Cool. I know I'm never going to, but if right. I do, I'm gonna donate it to Kane's charity. Yeah. Earmark. Very good. It it, it well, the, the, your and and to your point, um, 
Rick, that one's for you. Victim No More <laughs> says, Rick, that's a sweet shirt. So <laughs> it's a fan fan film. Go check it out on YouTube. It's we we Bobby have, we have. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Jason, to your point, you know, yes, you're right. A lot of these events are really cold and awful. And I think Jimmy was trying to create an event that was really warm because I think that was his brand. I think that makes sense. The whole point is, had Jimmy just stayed in communication with myself and with Kane, he could have still been part of something where we would have been in a different venue dealing with fans talking with he didn't have to cancel the thing he could have said okay we got a shift and yeah. i'm going to give people back a bunch of their money because we're not going to be able to do a dinner we're going to cancel the venue we're going to do it in an open space and we're just going to have these two guys be with the fans the whole point is that's what we ended up doing. That's what Kane and I ended up yeah. doing for no well, money. No Rick money. had even Rick had even found another alternate venue. I was venue. about to say this guy's reading my you know. mind all day. <laughs> no, I found him another venue that, that that wasn't booked for that night. That was considerably cheaper than the one he had. I mean, I'm from Cleveland. I'm going on and doing things. I offered to come up and cater the event. I, I cater. I do that on the side once in a while. I do barbecue, and I was like, he was like, but they wanted round table wedding. I said, dude. Uh horror convention fans your people they'd be happy with with, with whatever dude barbecue mm -hmm. barbecue they, they'd be happy and i'll do it for you for free i won't charge you a dime i won't pay for the food you got to cover that but i'll cook it i got the venue we'll make it happen who knows it's hey so man if he was a, if he was a true a true hustler would have already been on top of that shit. if he was right. a true that kind of guy it would have been already been happening before right. there were so many in. There are so many different avenues we could have gone down to make the event happen in different ways, which leads me to believe he couldn't do it regardless of what avenue we went down. There well, has to be exactly. some other reason. Well, again, there has again, to be some other reason why the whole thing folded. If Maybe that talk, bank account getting cleared out. Right. Yeah, his his wife, wife, <laughs> like, like, like he said, if you talk to Stacy, if you talk to Stacy, who was on the phone with him nonstop for weeks over this thing, there was a real threat to his personal relationship mm -hmm. and he folded for that reason. And again, by the way, if that's the reason, then come clean about that, man. Right. Understandable. I mean, fuck. Right. right. Like if every, you, every if you need to cancel gonna... event, if you need to cancel event to save your marriage. Yeah. Yes. Say it. I would be yeah. the first one to go, dude, save your marriage. <laughs> right. Man. Are you kidding? If my wife says, jump i ask her when i'm allowed to come down <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna say something he along knows. those lines <laughs> yeah oh, oh, man. that's how you stay married for 30 years that's how that well, works <laughs> i'm gonna start sending some of these uh guys out but jason uh first i'm gonna send you out but i appreciate you coming on uh, thanks man welcome and uh hopefully uh you if you right hear over. yeah if you hear that anybody gets paid back uh yeah. but you know l let us know because yep. i'm keeping my ear to the grindstone on this and i want to find out and any of you that are watching yeah if you find out if you get paid back let let, let know. me know let me know Face let adam message know. me man i want to i want to keep an accounting of anybody who, who's got oh. their money back hell yeah i told him man i'll see him for the mountain tops i get man. a dollar <laughs> back yeah well jerry <laughs> lewis this fucking thing i love it <laughs> i love it yeah so good. Oh, Lord. I have to work on my Jerry Lewis impersonation now. Is that what you're saying? Lady. 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 Where are we going? All right. Anyway, Jason, thank you for coming on and, Thanks, and man. throwing some numbers our way. And, uh, Jason, you're awesome. Thanks for jumping in so quickly, Thanks for man. Calling I, me, I Adam. knew you would be yeah. indispensable, brother. Yeah. Have a good day or have a good night, Jason. I mean, damn it. I mean, that's that was some strong information there that he laid out. I mean, fuck, yeah, that's all we're here to do is just to give both sides. That's it. You heard one side. Now you're hearing the other. Yeah. Uh, Rick, I, I, I don't know what else to say. It's just it's yeah, just uh, I'm glad that something was able to happen to salvage what could have been a totally disastrous weekend. And obviously you you probably already said it, but you have a chance to thank adam and maybe kane in some way for for it again if you want to oh, if you no, want this that, moment no doubt yeah thank, thank you adam thanks kane it was one of the best days of my life and me and my my son had like one of the best days because uh, we're we're on our way to pennsylvania we we stop at this cool barbecue spot we're sitting there eating lunch 
And then um, everything's going great. And then I look at my phone and I get the text that it's not happening. And this is less mm-hmm. than 12 hours. I would say about 12 hours before the event. You know, I'm like, oh, my God. So my son, he's, you know, I'm trying to, you know, he's happy. Everything's good. And he sees something's wrong with me. And I'm trying not to let on. And I'm like, oh, my God. So I'm about to cry because I don't know how I'm going to tell him because yeah. he believes everyone. You know, he, he just takes everybody at their word. And so I text Adam and I said, you know, hey, dude. You're probably not even going to see this. You're probably not going to respond, but I got a vet. I know this isn't your fault. I know none of this happened because of you, but blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm going on. I can click on the phone. Next thing you know, my phone's ringing. It's Adam calling me. And then he was like, hey, dude, like he said, I'll, I'll have you guys in my lobby. Your son's going to have a great experience. And then I really do start to cry. So yeah. <laughs> Ricky's like, you know, what's going on, dad? You know, it's like, no, it's, it's okay. It's okay. But no, we love you. Thank you. Ricky tells everybody about his great friend, Adam Marcus. <laughs> and yeah, no, thanks for having me on. Thanks for doing this. And everything's been great. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, awesome. When, Rick, you get the, when the podcast gets closer to launch, let us know, man. We'll do what we can. He's, no, it's on. He's, he's, he's on. on. Yeah, I got 11 he's on. episodes in. Yeah. I got 11 episodes in. It's a whole damn it's a lot of podcasts. I, and um, we, we talked. My idea originally was to do, that's why I said the whole damn it's a lot of to do different things, but we tried a wrestling thing and that didn't go over good. So it's 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 all horror now and we were gonna do just everything, but horror is what people like, so that's what we like the most. So that's what it's all about. And right. it's on Spotify. As soon as I can figure out how to get it on iTunes, it'll be on there. We're gonna right. work on that probably this week. And yeah, it's out there. It's awesome, dude. I'm saying it's awesome. Excellent, and I will man. definitely come and join you. Yep, yeah, and uh, go. I'm getting ready to uh, be on the road for four to five hours uh, here in oh a couple boy. of days, and I'm planning on listening to the whole damn yeah, let, podcast the whole you. way. That's awesome. All right, appreciate that. That is awesome. So, but Rick, thanks for coming yeah, man. on, man, and tell your son uh, good night for us if he hasn't already gone to bed. Yeah, he's really excited about that. And I'll get your address from. Just message me your I'll address, message and you I'll, after we're done. Yeah, yep. I'll send that. I don't know what happened to Ziggy right there, but he's. he's uh, he dipped out for a second. Whoops, but. unplugged my camera. Hang on. Right. <laughs> but Rick, we'll see you later, and I'll talk to you soon. Awesome, brother. Later, brother. All right. Adam, my good brother. Lord. We covered right? Right? We covered a lot of lot of material there. All right, there's Ziggy. <sighs> Sorry about that. Uh, you lying bitch, you, Adam. <laughs> I know. I'm yeah. such a bitch. I'm such Damn a lying bitch. <laughs> Man. How much did you pay that guy to come on? Now this is bullshit, man. We were yeah. we're seeing through this. Yeah, man. I'm I'm just I'm just about I'm just about taken down, guys. That's me. That's what I right. do. That's me. No, that's not really what this. Sh- uh, this is never what this show is really about. No. But if yeah. somebody is addicted addict to the community, it's right. going to be exposed. Well, and, and then, especially and then, if we hear anything about and, it. And this is absolutely something we plan to stick our big toes in at some point. We want to do the same kind of events and fuck if we're if right. this guy's fucking it up for everybody, how right. no one's gonna give us a look, you know? And right. we're because right. we're gonna be small when we start that shit. So Of course. Of yeah. course. But yeah. we're gonna wait until we got the dough to do it. See? That's right. the point. That's the and point. A ma- the majority of the conventions that we have gone to in in the past have been some of the bigger ones you know the horror hounds you know ones like that sure there are some smaller ones we're finally we're going to one here in july that's a a first year but they've got a killer fucking lineup god they're killing and i think it's going to be a great and we're going to be a part of it it's awesome uh and you know but when there are things like this that happen are the people that were affected by that going to look at this other first year event and go, you know what? I don't, I'm yep. going to wait a few years. Yep. You know, look, you know, ultimately this is, this is a bad, this is a cautionary tale. I hope that people take it seriously. I hope that people who have been in one camp for a long time kind of open up their ears and go like, Hey, maybe I didn't know all of this and maybe I can actually have a different opinion on this. And it, by the way, if you're a friend of Jimmy's, let him know if he wasn't watching tonight, which you might oh. not want to watch tonight, right? But let him know this can all be better. This can yeah. all be made right. Sure. Just stand up and make it right. That's all. Um, but you know what? I, I, I honestly, the the and again, I'm so glad Rick was on here tonight because we did end up doing something really special that, for the people that were there. Um, and we invited everybody. I kept going on Facebook Live to try to bang the drum as loud as I could. Yeah. Um, 
And look, Kane and I had a nice time with the people who were there. It was really cool. It was three and a half hours of us just hanging out and talking. And one kid got, you know, um, Kane to sign his back and went out to a tattoo parlor with his whole family and got it, got it done in tattoo and came back. I mean, it was like amazing. Nice. So Damn. there was like this whole community thing that happened that was beautiful that again, Jimmy J could have been a part of. That's the part that's so sad about this. It's just so silly. It, man, especially the fact that you were going to put him in your fucking documentary, man. Jesus Christ. Right. I was totally about helping him build his brand. It was like, come on, man. Like, let's do this. We would have been so jealous. I mean, I'll have to be honest. <laughs> yeah. by, the, by the way, I also do, I, I do want to say, look, Kane was a class act about the whole yeah. thing. He was amazing. Um, as were the people of Allentown, as were the people who owned that venue and owned the hotel. They couldn't have been nicer to us. And I got to tell you, you know, C and V, man, they killed it. Stacy and Chris, they they just, they Stacy never got off the phone. She was on the phone for twenty four hours to get something going, <laughs> and it was actually really like impressive and beautiful. And and man, you know, for every person out there, just you know, hates because they want to hate. Cool, that's great. But you right. know, for every one of those, there's ten people who are really awesome and really kind and want to be involved in the horror in the horror arena in a way that's positive um i've said it a million times i will continue to say it the rest of my life horror fans are the best fans there are plain and simple hands down you just have to treat them with respect that's all right that's all you know right. so. and don't don't let your ego get in the way of what you should have done in the first place which was cancel this event months in advance months in advance months. or move and, it or move it and just tell us i need it. time to make x y and z happen cool cool right. and, done and spend the money the right way don't but then don't lie on the people who actually came and gave their time and did what they needed to do don't lie on them to say that we did something wrong we didn't do anything wrong not a damn thing and that's why i'm glad you came to do this because you absolutely now have balanced it out your words are fucking out there. What he said is out there, albeit all broken up, several different places and stuff. We tried to piece it together the best we could, but here it is. Now, you people can take what you want from it. Yep. It's, hey. Right. But here's the thing. Your story. Yeah. Has, and the things that I've heard over the several months, like you said, has always stayed the same. It's his story and his numbers that constantly changed. You know, and that's, you know, he told you 5,000. He told Stacy it was 3,000. He told, uh, you know, Rick it was 600, you know. But then he goes on the, the podcast m a month later or two weeks later and says, oh, it was 1,200 and then it was 900. And, you know, his, his numbers never mathed out nope. ever. And obviously, Jason kind of confirmed it. He's obviously very bad at math. Which is kind fact, of important to Jason, be a businessman. The fact that Jason did not know about the five thousand for me is like the that's the shocker. That's <laughs> it's like he didn't tell you that I gave him. Hmm, okay, cool. Yeah, that's what tells me. There's like I said, you know, the shark skin jackets and the sequin whatever wrestling kind of costumes and shit. You know, yeah. probably some sunglasses and stuff. Whatever. I mean, that's yeah. Some of that had to go to that. Yeah. Yep. 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 All right, well, there, Adam. Yeah, I know, Adam. Before we get you go, I mean, yeah, we got Arch one more. Darkness, it's coming at us. It is. I, 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 yeah, got to ask about it. Oh yeah. no, no, no! I'm glad. I'm glad. Thank you. Oh, my <laughs> God, something happy and positive. Um, yeah, we actually. I just saw the second fine cut this weekend. It's terrific. Um, wow. We're doing some. Uh, there's some more animations being done, and it goes to color timing and the composer next week. Nice. And so we are we are moments away, man. It's so, uh, it's exciting. Did you, you have an ETA? Oh, hang on, at I was all? Just I was Which just one? Ask first? Real quick, I'll yeah. go first. Go I'll go first. Go okay. Um, you had that plan to do use the convention for your ending. Did you come up with something that is satisfying to you? That's just we did actually. We there, there was another event that happened in Los Angeles at the Alamo Draft House in downtown mm -hmm. LA. Um, and we had that, and we also had an event, uh, the American Cinematheque uh, honored the movie, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and so between those two events, yeah. we were actually able to create this kind of mega event um, for the movie. 
Uh, it came out beautiful. It looks great. And I'm telling you guys again, oh, Michael, <laughs> Fel Michael Felcher, our, our director, who, who has become just a really close friend. Um, between him and there's an, a guy that I've known since I was 14 years old. There's no joke. Uh, one of my best friends since we were kids, since we were 14, is uh, an editor, uh, a Emmy nominated editor, 10 time nominated uh, mm -hmm. editor for The Amazing Race. He cut every single episode of Fear Factor. Um, the guy's just a, a genius. And he's also a brilliant novelist. Well, this guy is a guy named Eric Beatner. He lives, this is not, a, I'm not kidding, he lives less than three quarters of a mile from my house. Literally, I'm pointing at his house right now. Um, he came in as the editor on this movie. So between him and Michael, um, we've got a movie that is so, like, amazing and totally not what anybody's expecting which is really exciting <laughs> i will also tell you we have a feature length film so it's feature it is not you know seven hours long i know the fans love that kind of stuff <laughs> but i will say this here's what's great so the original cut was close to three hours long and we're like no <laughs> no and it needed to be a feature length movie. Like just, I want it to be something that can be play at festivals and can be just a film. But here's what's great. Anyone who got in on the Blu-ray, they are getting all that extra stuff. Oh, nice. There you go. So, so, so for the, for the super fans, they can have all the bells and whistles. They can have all that stuff. Nice. But what's wonderful is I'm working with real filmmakers who have made a real feature documentary that is really funny and charming. And you guys, when you guys see the behind the scenes footage that K&B had that they unearthed for this movie, mm. it's I can't wait. crazy. It's crazy. I, I actually watched myself directing. I, there was no BTS on, on the, you know, on the set for that movie. We didn't have that kind of money. <laughs> and suddenly I'm like, oh, my God, that is me yelling action. I look like I'm four. <laughs> um, right. So it is uh, it's really cool, man. It's it's a really cool movie. I think everybody's going to be very surprised by it. Nice. Very nice. Oh, good. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, we, we are we are going to be getting it out this year. Um, the problem is, is that w there's a, there's a festival that we promised the opening to. So that's a little complicated. So we're trying to work that out. Okay. Um, a very major, important festival. So we're trying to work all that out. When you can uh, got that nailed down, please let us know so know I will. we oh, can uh, make it happen. Well, I yeah. hope it's the same one that we're already going to. Yes. We're gonna, uh, we might know. be right there already, Adam. Yeah. We, okay. might, uh, might, let me ask you this. Might we meet you in the mountains? No. Oh, oh. Damn it. All right. No. Then that's not. It is not that. It is not that. Okay. All right. All right. It is well, bigger than that. Then we got to fuck. Then we got to we got to book another trip. <laughs> in LA. So, um and by the way, you guys sent in your your uh, video, right? Yeah, we sure did. Yes. That's what I mean. We did we talk I think we were talking to the director. He was sending the sweetest emails. Michael, he's yes. he's guys, I'm telling you. By the way, this was this was George Romero's personal documentarian for the last 15 years of his life. I mean, this guy is Michael is the the man. Like we got to yeah. talk to this guy. Yeah, we got to talk. Yes, to him at some you point. do. You do. He's incredible, dude. Incredible. We'll, we'll have him and you on when the show when the oh, show yeah. drops. Dude. Heck yeah, done yeah. deal. All right. Cool. Done deal. Excellent. That's, that's done. I love it. Excellent. I love it. Adam, as always, it's a fucking blast to talk to you and hang out. And uh, I'm, I'm really, really glad that we finally got to do this because I've been wanting to talk about this show for a while. Yeah. And I'm glad you had all your ducks in a row on yes. it. Yes. I had as many of my ducks in a row as we could, and I think yeah. we were all right. We like you, we didn't, get, we didn't get too harsh on this. No, we, could, we no. couldn't have been much worse. No, like you said, I I think if people would just open their eyes, open their ears, and realize that what is being said here is completely different than what they've been told by Jimmy J, and. It's coming from multiple different right. people. Right. So it's... We all have the receipts. Yeah, we yeah. have the receipts. Where Where is his? Um, yeah. that's, but, he that's knows. but he knows. He knows. He knows. We don't need to go back there again. You know, 
yeah. he's aware of it, and yeah, so yeah. Yep. And I've been wanting to say this all all night, but everything was crazy tonight. But yeah. happy birthday to Carrie across Carrie, the pond. I love Carrie. Happy birthday, baby. Yeah. Oh yeah. Give those kids a snuggle, please. Yes. Yes. So I wanted I wanted to get that in there one last time. I'm glad she finally she said it's something that there too that reminded me. But uh, yeah, Adam. Again, thanks for joining us. And My pleasure, we'll guys. I love you guys. You guys are. We'll amazing. definitely Amen. schedule you. I love you guys. I love you too. And tell Deborah we said hello. I will. You know. And yeah. and uh, we will definitely schedule you uh, later this year. And hope to see you at a uh, premiere. The yes, place is will. reserved, sir. Yes, Just you say when. You got it. All right, All right guys. See you, Adam. Later. Adam uh, Marcus. Adam Marcus, everybody. Want to thank Jason Counterman and Rick Poulton as well, and Ricky, little Ricky. He's cool, yeah. Rick. Uh, in that banner, right from a little hell yeah, man. Yeah, take a breath, dude. That was that was nicely done. Thoughts, what, Ziggy? Very well arranged. Um, and again, I think we we kept it in in line here. And Adam himself said the same thing. Look, this guy did not set out to fuck everybody. I think we all agree on that. Right. But somewhere along the way, things went. Pear, you know, pear shape to the left. I don't know, and uh, I get it. Sometimes you're in over your head, but yeah. just do the right thing, man. That's it. If, if he, if everyone gets paid back, I would be delighted to get on here and say, "Hey, man, the dude fucking made good." It's not going to happen again. And how cool would that be? That would be lovely. I, I wish it would happen. Um, I don't. I, he, I'll hold out my hope on humanity with this. That's all. Yeah. I I'll don't give see him the that happening. Doubt. I don't. I. I Maybe not, but yeah, as a as a human, I believe in second chances and shit like that. So, yeah. but um, I think I, I'm I, going to attend any of his events in the near future until this is proven. You know, right? I wanted to play this so bad during the thing, but I couldn't. This was uh, something Sean Clark said on Horror 365. I gotta play it. Dang it! Is it gonna make sound? Yeah. No, we can't hear it. You can't hear that? No, we couldn't hear the other one either you played of Jimmy J. Oh, well, damn. Well, then that's not working. Paraphrase, please. Anyway, he says, there's people out there that try to make themselves look like a big deal, but they are not. Um, yeah. Uh, keep working, man, and maybe you will be a big deal. I'm not saying we're big deals, but, I, no, but we, I, we know where to draw the line. We're not right. putting on a convention. Oh, we're not even attempting to right now getting this event for july together i'm i'm it, it's pushing the limits of our ability but you know we're still within the target we're fine we've but got we're nowhere we've we're got nowhere near right we're nowhere near anything like that, that says we need to cancel that we no. need to cancel we're, what we're doing it's fucking on it's on yeah. like donkey Kong. yeah goddamn say. right it is uh coming at them bro man it's, all right you got uh, an announcement don't you I do. That was one of the... Uh, somebody else even said it. They said, uh, where was that comment? And I, guys, I'm sorry I didn't get yeah. to a lot of the comments because you guys were going crazy, but I and wanted Adam to get... Too. Adam, I mean, what, every time we get him in here, I mean, he, he goes, man. It's so, so, Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm I wanted waiting. to get the story. I have things I want to say, but they're going, and then, man, they go into something else that's better, and it's like, well, fuck. All right, I'll try to right. get back to that, and sometimes we just can't and shit. It's hard to... Put, work in the people when it's it's something like this it was crazy oh, yeah it was crazy well uh, thanks for sticking though man you had a lot of a lot of eyes tonight yeah there were lots of people on there i can't find it right now but it said some i think it was from uh well hello mr fancy pants and he was saying that, you know i've watched about 25 episodes and this is by far the best one i've seen something like that so yeah, I and mean, it felt like it's just something we it had to be done. Uh, and I'll stay say it from the hill and from till my to the end. You know, I mean, the, the, I I want to be part of this community, and I want to be able to offer my wares and stuff. And 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 fuck, if I can somehow turn this into a career, fucking hell, I've won the lottery. Right. But we can't do that if we got guys in here trying to scam the beautiful people that we're all together. We're all the same. So right. I mean, it doesn't make sense, man. Bad business, dude. Yeah, I can't. I can't find that comment mostly because there's so many damn comments. There's a lot of comments tonight. Yeah, but it's fine. 
but yes, I do have a special announcement to make, and I, I don't was, know this. Yeah, you don't know this. Uh, Colonel doesn't even know this. Nobody knows this. Nobody knows it but me. I mean, I'm trying to speculate. There's only a couple of things I can even possibly think of. That this could We're going to get a copyright strike for that, I bet, right there. But um, check out this promo for something coming up uh -oh. June 5th. Three, two, one. You know, we've connected with something. we got to keep going. we got to talk to it. That's right. The done. the Monday after the Boogeyman drops in theaters, director Rob Savage is going to be right here on this show talking about what it's like to direct a fucking Stephen King movie. Wow. And I can't wait. I can't wait I, to get into it with him. Now, I, we probably are going to be limited yeah. in the time that we have with him. So we're going to have to get our questions in and go, go, go. Oh, yeah, because I got host fucking questions. I love fucking host. Host was yep. our pick for the best movie of that year. Um, and yeah, that's what I told him. That's what I told his agent just to get him to come on the show on the day that we're reviewing it. Because <laughs> well, he, it's true. Well, I mean, he was like, wait, you're going to do the interview and the review on the same show? What if you don't like the movie? And I was like, uh, look, man, we've seen both his other movies that, that have been like majorly released, and host was our number one of 2020. So. I think he's in safe territory, but uh, yeah, I cannot fucking wait, it's, man. You know, I mean, it it could suck, I guess, but it, it does look pretty good. I'm excited to see that one. But uh, yeah, what a cool! That's it's a great, that's a good gig. Good job, Crank. Well done. Thank you, yes, Colonel. Colonel, I know Colonel loves this movie too. So, <laughs> yeah. or not not Boogeyman, but Host. I know he yeah. loved Host, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I know he's gonna be excited once he hears this. So nice. Uh, mm. uh yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun Woo! yeah dude i need a drink uh, yeah, i need a drink too. <laughs> uh let me thank our members one last time thanks to our final girls and guys chris lorena christy luke charles tanya and tyrone and our crazy ralph raymond and our camp counselors Canadian Dave, oh. no, Michigan Dave, yeah. S. Michael, Stacy Lynn, Orlando, Kiara, Canadian Dave, and JJ. Thank you, guys. Uh, we don't know what next week is uh, going to be our topic because yeah. we had several weeks bookmarked for Rob Savage, right. and that was... The fifth was the weekend he picked, or the, the Monday he picked. So uh, we'll come up with something next week or in the next few days and let you know what we're going to be talking about next week. Probably I think there's be a another shutter. Year. Yeah. Well, there's a shutter movie that's coming out on Friday. Oh. I think that would probably be the easiest. That's true, too. Yeah. So, uh, Consecration. But, Consecration. Yeah. Another so we got a kind of demon, devil thing in there. Yeah. But as we gear up for Texas Frightmares coming up now, Woo. 10 days and we're on fuck. the road for that. Fuck, fuck. Yep. And I found out Charles Cypress is there, too. So it's yes. another signature for the fog jacket. <laughs> and and I'm telling you, dude, I, I don't know which day. I think maybe Friday. I may beeline right to that line and just go for it because they're telling me that's the best time to do it. I'm thinking we're, we're just going to have to waste Friday and go there. And, and I'm there, willing, The good thing is there's no panels on Friday. I don't think. I'm it's willing. Saturday and Sunday. 
I am willing to let you go and do what you need to do, though, and stand in line. I mean, you could come and relieve me. We could, you know, but. Uh, no, no, no. We'll, ju- we'll just go and suck it up and do it. That we way gotta he, do it. He sees us. He gets probably by the time it all was said and done around a thousand bucks from all of us. <laughs> yeah. You know I mean? And so, yeah. yeah, maybe if maybe if it's a thousand dollars, he'll do a fucking ID. Right. How fucking badass would that be? <laughs> We'll try the check. Just gonna say, open your hand, sir, and then drop a check and see what happens. Yeah, see what happens. I'm out there to do an ID for this podcast. <laughs> uh, but anyway, gang, thanks yeah, for man. watching. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, serving up the uh, the information for you. Sometimes and, you gotta uh, take the high, or the low road, the high road, the news road, whatever, man. Just sometimes it's got to be uh, done a different way, but. I think this one had to be done and and I think we did it right. I don't know. I'm sure some of you aren't happy, but again, I'm shocked that only one person, one person. commented the entire time. But I was hoping I think, they were being funny with just a clever Will Smith joke, but no. 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 It's not the case. Adam's Adam gets the last word. You guys are awesome. Love y'all. Adam. So. We will have that debate someday. We're gonna have it. <laughs> that I gonna happen. Or not friendly. It'll be fun. It'll be fun and silly. But, uh, I think it'll be fun. It will happen. You guys <laughs> have a wonderful Monday. Well, the rest of it anyway. Yeah. And a wonderful week. And we will see you next Monday. With something. DCS. Hey, I think coming back, maybe, too. Uh, yep. And Colonel makes his triumphant return next week. So. Is Ali like return to the ring? Yes. Ali, more like George Foreman. Yeah. Woo. Jerry Holmes when he was, you know. <laughs> <laughs> DCS out, folks. See you next time. Woo!